PayPal, go, go, oh go. Um, and then that's when complete, the dingo complete, exploded. Complete. Yes. Pick it up. You got it. Damn boy. I will not know I've got it until I'm on the screen that tells me I've got it. <laughs> got it. Boom. Woo! Mm -hmm. Go to hoist. Well done. <laughs> Hang on a minute. <laughs> What's it called, sir? Hoist. Uh, hello. Hoist hello. Hello. Yeah. How are you? A character called James William Quatermain, uh, who is a former span. He's a former. former tell you what, spanner. Just. Check my fucking avatar on TeamSpeak, right? I've got three he spanners right here. He's a navigator yeah. in the Spanish Navy. Um, right. And uh, he has basically ended up... Um, basically ended up... Um, accidentally ending up as a pirate. <laughs> right. Yeah, because he was a former navigator on a Spanish uh, privateer. Landed on an island full of privates, immediately burnt his letter of mark so it didn't get him hung from the nearest tree, and he's just sort of stuck there now, masquerading um, as a Spaniard. I'll be back in one moment. I just need to pour some pasta into a bowl and stuff it in my face. Hang on. Hey, okay. all good. All for my beer and tobacco. I have got myself a ticket, and I'm gonna be asking about as a pirate in the woods at the end of June. <laughs> nice. Shame they don't uh, rent like a boat, so you could do it on a boat. Yeah, it would be nice. Uh, oh, um, Digby, you see the pictures of the uh, maritime ship that I sent you uh, from yes. Sydney Bay? Yeah, that was the vessel's uh, 150 year birthday, something like that. Was it? Yeah. Ah, oh, I had so much fun on that holiday. I'm glad, yeah, I'm glad it was a nice, I'm sure it was a welcome break. Yeah, seriously, it was. Yeah. First time in a while I've not had to think about work. Yes, yeah, that's it. That's what you need. Time to unplug, unplug. Exactly. What's great is, doesn't matter if work wants to contact me, I'm asleep. <laughs> yeah. Also, go, I have a new away. appreciation for Bavin playing games with us. Really? Because because the time holy zone. fuck, the time difference. Yeah. yeah. Hmm. Hmm. Hello. Uh, hmm. Hello, you the monster. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I've got to be honest. Uh, we need to have an intervention about the amount of sort of like undead beings in our party at the moment. Yeah, what the fuck? I, I, can't, yeah. I can't do anything after I summon them. I can't even like send them anywhere. They're just, just like... not, We're not going to cause a panic? <laughs> I I don't think so. Cause I suppose, yeah, to be fair, one of them was working at the gate at the circus. So yeah. I think, yeah. Yeah, but then, yeah, yeah. But then again, that was an evil circus. Yeah, I suppose. Yeah, Are we, we not an evil party? Yeah, obviously. There are, there are, there are backup dancers. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah, mm. that's it. Yeah, we just need to get them clothes. Hmm. So, you and me are both covered in blood lump. I'm trying to yeah. throw a water bottle yeah, yeah. at you. I've, yeah, I've forgotten the controls. Where's the water bottle? Yeah, yeah, gather we'll up for a bath, you. gentlemen. You found some? I got some? it. <clears throat> yeah, there you go. I got us. All right. Whee. There we go. Squeaky clean. That's how you wash, chat. Yeah. All this gate. So, I suppose speaking to the audience then, who might be unsure as to exactly what's going on, we are in the third and I assume final chapter of the game. Yes. And we're in the city of Baldur's Gate, which is soon, if not now, about to be under siege by an enormous army controlled by a giant elder brain. Is that correct? That is, so far, you're right on the money. And the elder brain is part of a great big plot as a sort of manufactured threat by these three evil dudes. What are they called again? Not the Dead Three. That's the name yeah. of the gods, isn't it? Well, yeah, they're kind of their... Um... They're the Chosen. Yeah, the Chosen the of the Dead Three. So the big evil plan was to have it attack the city and, and take control, or whatever. Um, but the problem is we've thrown a spanner in the works because we stole one of the gems, didn't we? Yeah. So <laughs> the last order was to attack the city. So they can't so stop the brain. Nothing. Yeah. yeah. So, so the problem, so the problem that they're having right now is that Kethrick Thorm, um, the a chosen of Merkel, who I believe is the god of death, 
Um, we slayed him underneath Moonrise Towers in a region not far from here, and we took his Nether Stone. The Nether Stone is one of three stones that controls this ancient Netherite crown, which is dominating the brain and basically forcing it to do the bidding of these chosen three. Now, with the Elder Brain, uh, the crown is only keeping it dominated, provided it has orders to follow. And its last order was to march on Baldur's Gate. Mm. Um, without the third uh, stone in the, the entourage of the Dead Three, um, they can no longer issue it with new orders. And as soon as the task list of the brain runs out, it will break free of its binding. Meaning... We have until it gets here to either gather all three stones mm. or um, give the stone back to the dead three so that it doesn't turn everybody here into mind flares. Because what we found out is that there's actually a rather large amount of the Baldur's Gate population as well as the army of the Absolute that are infected with tadpoles. And us and us that are infected with these tadpoles that could turn us into mind flayers at any moment. The Elder Brain wants that more than anything. It's, it's hell-bent on that happening, mm. and the, the Brain's dominating crown is preventing it from doing so. The second that Brain breaks three, free of its shackle, um, there could potentially be tens of thousands. Maybe close to a hundred thousand mind flayers descend on Baldur's Gate, and this sort of region of Faron will be plunged into essentially the new Illithid Empire. It's mm. that serious. So, we're trying to stop that in the broad strokes. In in the minutia, though, <clears throat> we're trying to also break free of our own puppet, because yes, we've got an angel on our shoulders who turns out to be a bit of a devil, a specific mind flayer called... What was his name again? The Emperor. The Emperor. So he has been guiding us along because he also apparently doesn't want to fall under the sway of this elder brain. But we got a problem because, well, we didn't think we could trust him. And therefore we just took a little, little detour, shall we say, to retrieve a magical artifact that can break open a prison that he's guarding containing who? I've forgotten. So Prince Orpheus, so part of the reason, so for the longest time, uh, the Emperor has been trying to sow this trust between us, this camaraderie. He's been trying to sell to us that we have aligning goals and that we're not enemies. We may not be friends, but we can work together to the same aim. However, in an altercation you had with him in a dream, Mr. Lomb, mm. the mask slipped slightly and he let, let slip that he has no intention of us surviving this without becoming mind flayers mm. in fact the emperor is going to actively try and turn us even if we manage to somehow survive whatever's happening with the elder brain to be fair and, he said that to social as well yeah so uh, basically we uh, through this mask slipping this guise of being this friendly helper suddenly turned into um, this, this maybe ulteri ulterior motive now coming to light it's left us with no choice we had to get this hammer as a form of assurance to free the magical being, Prince Orpheus, uh, son of Vlakith One or whatever it is, uh, which is like a whole Gith Yankee uh, arc, um, uh, in order to basically deny him access to the magic that's preventing us from turning him, uh, to, for preventing us from turning into mind flayers or coming under the control of the Absolute. The only problem that we have right now mm -hmm. is that we aren't sure that Prince Orpheus will trust us if we free him. But unfortunately, the Mind Flayer letting slip his plan, it kind of leaves us with no choice. Mm. We have to risk it because all of a sudden our guarantor has, has shown that he isn't going to, to let us leave this without becoming Mind Flayers. We're too special. Yeah. Do you think, guys, that mm. we can find... Forgive me, I'm trying to remember, I'm doing my best. <clears throat> Do you think we can find and try and convince that, that rebel lieutenant? You know, he's um, one of the Gith Yankee? Yeah. Um, do you think we can maybe convince him to come with us? Maybe Prince Orpheus might trust us if... Yeah. You know what I mean? What's his I name think again? He, I think his name was Voss. Something Voss. Voss. 
Um, and yeah, he's, he was like a captain um, for the GIF Yankee, and I think part of their intelligence division, essentially. Yeah. Um, we and, actually have a yeah. quest uh, called Help Kithrak Voss, and we have to show him the Orphic Hammer. Oh, but good. I think, okay. Yeah, if, I so right. basically, what he suggested was that if, basically, if we can bring someone that can potentially vouch for us with the prince, you, that Vogel. might help well, our you, odds of the prince being willing to help us. Because yeah. again, it is only by the magical power that he has bestowed upon him that we're able to not be under the thumb of the absolute. I can't stress enough if, for whatever reason, the tether between us and Orpheus breaks, Game over. We, we, we are puppets of the absolute, like the hundreds or the tens of thousands of other people that the brain currently has in its entourage. Like, we are only free of mind because of the connection that we have with Prince Orpheus in the astral prison we're carrying. The second that bond is broken, we are vulnerable. So also, fucking hell, um, Vlakith is going to go absolutely apeshit the moment we re release fucking Orpheus. Yeah. Because yeah. it completely Undermines goes against that. the Githyanki yeah. uh, regime, I suppose. Yeah, it's yeah really it's a, her, her, her rule is built on a lie, and by freeing the prince and bringing him back into the fold, it kind of shows her for the false um, sort of um, prophet that she is. She has yeah. no power. She's been using Orpheus's power for all this time until Thank the prison was lost diabeto. to her. And Eisenbrot and Vogel. Yeah. Thank you. All and then, you. just in the same realm of conversations about the Gith, um, our own resident Gith has been taken by one of the oh, Chosen of the Dead yeah. Three. Yeah. Um, who has warned us that if we try and save her before killing uh, the name? other one. Yeah. Yeah, his name I, I, I picture his right face, now. but what's his name? Yeah, so yeah. you've got um so you've got um oh fuck. Cat, you're gonna have to help us. Yeah. I know that he's what the his name? there's the Baal guy and then there's oh, Gortash, there we go. Gortash. Gortash, that was it. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, back so Gortash. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's natural. Gortash no, natural is story to yeah, end of Gortash. Yeah, yeah, so basically Orange. the two of them are each other's throats just now. So yeah, so Tash wants us to kill Oren and vice versa, but Oren has the upper hand by holding one of our own hostage. Yeah. And, although and, and I'm you? not personally invested in her. Me neither. But oh, yeah, you me. have a little you have a showdown to to attend, sir. Like you and, and what's her name? The creepy lady that turns oh, yeah, into things. Orin. Right. She she invited you to a like one on one. You two are gonna have a duel, I assume. Yeah, uh, apparently, yeah. yeah that should be just interesting. Gonna go mano a mano. That should be fun. Um, other fun things. Uh, there are a nest of vampires next to this house, apparently. Should um, we do that as a warm up? Yeah, sure. Because I can't uh, remember the what buttons are. As a warm up, you want to go <laughs> kill a load of vampires? Sure. We just killed um, the devil. So the the nest of the vampires. Devil, is yeah. up on this wall now. What? Huh? Because I'm a filthy, filthy mind flayer. I can wall. do that. Wait, uh, oh. Digby, you can fly now because of that armor that you got. I think I can fly. Yes, I, I can fly. Had... Wow, is that... I just had this image of Digby dressed as Peter Pan. Uh, <laughs> no, I can't because it's a level 3 transmutation oh, spell. And it's also a bonus action, and I can't for some reason do it. I think it's because I'm inside a building. Oh, okay. I think Have if I go outside, I might be all right. Um, Hold on. Is there a way on. up no, to join you? Yes, there should be. Yeah, uh, Lump, I, I think if you can get an angle, mm -hmm. I gave you some arrows of transportation. Oh, you're right, you're right, you're right. Hang it on. might work, and I do have some spare that I can give to... Uh, uh... Gareth, if we get desperate. I've forgotten all the buttons. Yeah, over, over by where I am... Um... Is a good spot to try and aim for. I, for some reason, cannot cast fly, and I don't know why. That rhymed, oh. and I didn't intend it to. Shoot, here we go. I found, found the button, I found the button. Yeah, I can't quite get an angle on it. I think I might have an angle, hang on. Yeah, maybe not. Path interrupted. Try yeah. Go go on to the ground. Um, like, go, go outside and see if... Uh, yeah, see so if we can get a shot. It's going to be a bit mm. of a reach, yeah, sure but let's not. give it a go. Uh, actually, you know what? Go onto the balcony um, through the set of double doors and then onto the roof. 
Uh, how do you do that? Surely there's an easier way. Is there, there a roof? probably is, but yeah, over here. <laughs> Look at this Mary Poppins motherfucker. Can you open is it? Not, is, it is there not literally, I think there's yeah, literally a way to it. <laughs> okay, there that's one way of opening it, sure. Oh. Hello, dude. Oh, look, your, your pop band's here. There we go, I just unlocked the door. <laughs> <laughs> the splinters of the door. So yeah, yeah, and then... Okay. Hmm. Then do the thing. Uh, shit, where did my fly go? Um, the arrows of transmutation... Shoot, here we go. Uh, a bit too far. Oh no, wait, I see jump on the roof and then go. Right, hold on. Uh Mr. Womble, will come to me. Uh -huh. I have a dimension door scroll. I can take myself and one ally to somewhere oh. I can see. Oh. Where the fuck did oh, you I, go? I, I just fell all the way to the ground level <laughs> through the tiniest gap. What the fuck? Did you? What the fuck? You just fall through the roof. Yeah, I just I fell just... through the roof. Yeah, he went. He went to climb over the balcony. <laughs> just this wall well... is not structurally uh, structurally stable. <laughs> I, I think you've been having a bit too much. Yet. I think so. <laughs> that yeah. gap's only about two foot wide as well. You had to fuck up like <laughs> impressively to get Hi. there. Right. I'm back. Okay. Dimension there door. Is, I was going to say there is a way. I think there is. Yeah. I, I but, found like a way around. We've got to move slightly further forwards. Hold on. Da, 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 da. Right. And then we go. There is a face Dimension on your arm. Dimension door. <laughs> and then target out of sight. God. Friggin'. Damn there it. must be an easy way. We, we, the... no, no, I'm, yeah, literally, yeah, yeah. I'm literally taking the easy way. What was the easy way? <laughs> yeah, he's found like... a ladder. Yeah, <laughs> he's found just, a ladder. Fuck it, let's just use the ladder. Let's use the fucking ladder. We're fucking around with this and he's found a ladder. Oh. Hang on, on the way. Interesting. The Palace of <clears throat> Kazador Zazar, he's, she's telling me to go. Oh. Uh, just kill her? I'm here to kill... Is Kazador Zazar the vampire oh. guy? Yeah, he's it's... the vampire master of. Thank you, Chris. Um, uh... All right, I'll go. Oh, shit, there we go. So oh, yeah, I, uh, I got yeah. forced out. Yeah, same. I got forced out as well. It looks like this way here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so there's a tower here. Yeah, you found it. Yeah. You can go up there. So it looks like the vampires that were potentially here to set upon the tower that gains us entry is sealed. There's a there's gate guards. Um, I I can try and can uh, maybe you'll be better would at you, it, Gareth. Would you like the Would you like me, a bard of some repute, to take the lead? I think so, um, because yeah, I don't think we're going to be able to uh, to convince them otherwise. I went up the ladder upstairs, and a lady told me to leave. I'm going to wait outside because you're a new face. Yeah, Hello I'll there. Uh, I'll go the back door. What's he doing? He's dropping. This is the palace of Kazador Zar. Entry is forbidden. Leave now. The guard's words are clear, but spoken without thought or intent. Behind her eyes, you see nothing. She's a drone under some magical charm. Well, that's oh, not. Uh, hmm. That's that's hmm. not concerning. I am inspecting the security you, on sir, your Mumble. master's orders. Thank you for the tier two, Mumble. Thank you. Oh, I'm very I am and thank you, Chris. Deception. And some um, idea. Be wait, some. Diabeto and Eisenbrot. Antage as well, Four if you put... Four above. And it's which a you've six, done. Which I needed. Well Empty. done. Of course. Whatever the master desires. Interesting. Enter freely. And of your own will. Thank you, Bebopper. Well, that's not a concerning thing to have been said. Yeah, I'm hoping she's granted access to the whole onto. We're we're, we're fellow inspectors. Yeah, yes, yeah, yeah. Yes, uh, here to g grade the grain. Yes, ignore the fact I've got a violin on my back. I'm definitely expert in all things security. Yes, I'm here to kill the vampires. Out of my way. That is. Uh, <laughs> yeah, we're not with him. Ooh, hold on. <laughs> There's a scroll on the table here. The Tsar Palace servants etiquette. I think I can read that without getting into trouble. I just can't okay. take it. So, memorize so. these rules and do not fail to follow them. Do your job silently. <clears throat> do not speak unless spoken to. The master All likes right. it quiet. No. If you are not busy, find something to do and look busy. The master likes diligence. If you encounter the master, stand still and cast down your eyes with deference. The master likes to be respected. No whistling. Chamberlain de Fay. No whistling. Okay, no we're whistling. definitely going to try oh, whistling. Oh, it's an anti-musical household. Is it? Well, this guy's going down. 
We sorry, um, I'm I can't remember his name. We have a vampire back at the camp. What Asterian. was his Asterian. Asterian. What was yes. his relationship to these people? Well, so uh, as Asterians, he's on the uh, run was, from these guys, isn't he? Yeah, he was a he was a not a vampire thrall per se, but he was enthralled by this master and broke free thanks to the um, parasite. So, I mean, oh. if we go in and not really fuck up this guy, I think he might be happy. Okay. Let's kill them all. Okay. Well, well, I suppose... <laughs> let's, let's have a conversation yeah. first. And then we'll kill them all. Well, so, let's let's there put it... So, basically, like, what, one of the things that we've got to remember is that, like, this group of vampires, and it is something to consider here, right, we're very short of friends now that Enver Gortash has control of the military, the Steel Watch, and the City Guard here in Baldur's Gate. Uh -huh. We've been able to find friends in the Thieves' Guild because they're a clandestine force here, uh -huh. and they've offered to help us when the fight for Baldur's Gate begins. Oh. These vampires, the master is pure. like it or not, are also His another clandestine must force. Be pure. They might no end stain, up being useful no smudge, if no they don't have ulterior motives, can't which trust, they might. Can't trust a vampire. We might have no choice. We need we need friends to help us save the city. We we did just kill what who, someone who could have potentially been a very big ally to us. Yeah, but so we kind of need to oh, replace you, you him kidding? with something yeah. else. Satan he, he, would have yeah. been so worse. Well, so I think that we wouldn't have necessarily minded Satan's help if he didn't want that insane artifact in yeah. return. If, if there's a similar kind of monkey's paw problem here, then yeah, we've got, we've got no choice but to potentially take matters into our own hands. But again, uh, to quote Lord Elrond, our, our list of allies grows thin. Well, you know, that's that door is literally called Sinister Door. So can I suggest that we that we don't go through the sinister door as yet, and we go down the stairs? I agree. Let's oh. explore first. Did someone just pull a painting off the wall? Yeah, one of the. Uh, I did. did. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> uh, no, no, I did. I was like, just gonna... that's a massive painting. You're I wonder just... if something's yeah. behind it. Yeah. Walk into a man's house and just yeah. pull these paintings off yeah. the wall. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Fuck it. He's a vampire. He's not a man. Yeah, he's right. Oh. The way your gauls skip along yeah. is very uh, <laughs> it's like, disconcerting. It's like, it's like he's got yeah. like a the, backing the dance. Guest yeah. has a sinister seal on it as well. Some sort of magic. I also I failed an arcana check. We've all failed well, the arcana check. Okay, sort of on magic. we go. It's just the door. I mean, Damn it. like if we need to go in it, I'll just a dark use my clock. A dark Hello. energy envelops this door. door. To the kennel. We'll go through the we'll go to the dormitory wing. Uh, okay. Interesting. interesting. Yeah. Born dormitory. Yeah, the favorite spawn is at the other end. Oh god. We're just I might buy servant quarters. Yeah, I was gonna say I might buy some garlic from the market. Does any? Yeah. Uh, born dormitory. Oh look, blood ledger of blood donors. <laughs> what does it say? Uh, favorite spawn. I mean, maybe this is a Starian's room. Uh, maybe. Uh, so it, it, it's a book. Violet's diary. Go on. It's a book warning the vampires not to drain the upper classes. Go for the, uh, go for the proletariat. Really? Yeah, as in apparently they're drawing too much attention. Oh right. Okay. So they're capitalist vampires, aren't no, they? No. As in, don't, don't drain the nobles. It says. Yes. Yeah. So this this diary is from someone called Violet, and it reads. <laughs> the garlic in Yusen's bed gave him a nasty rash. Serves him right for being such a whining runt. Now, if only I could get that get at that snob Leon and his brat of a daughter, but she's too well protected. Casador must have a fine plan for that little Victoria. I wonder what it is. Ends on a question. There's so someone called Victoria, and apparently Garlic, despite my musing, hmm. seems on, to have had a on, positive hold effect. Hold on, there's what? someone fucking invisible behind the door here. They yeah. just failed a, they failed a save against me. I'm going to talk to them. Hey, uh, Cody. Who? Who's Cody? Spotted me, did you? Sharp for a more. Thank you, Fixated. Wait. Thank you very much. You are neither <laughs> spawn nor servant. An intrusive mortal, then. You made a mistake, little thief. 
Really? Did we? Uh, right. <laughs> I think um, one of us uh, made a mistake. Close the door. Yes, yeah, close the door and kill close the skull. Close the door so that people don't hear the fact that we've just started a fight with this guy. Yeah, yeah. Right. Okay. You might what want to close you the door. As? You count as a level 12 skeleton. So much to prepare. Uh. So, you do not count as a humanoid, which means I can't do hold person on you. Mm. Uh, da, 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 da. What do I want to do? You know yeah. what? I've forgotten everything as well. I will cast. He's got a high defense against. Right, let's have a look. He's uh, vulnerable to bludgeoning damage and has poison immunity. Uh, he can't oh. speak or cast spells that have a verbal component because he is silent. Just hit him. He's a, f he's a fighter. He has parry and repost. So I will not just hit him. <laughs> Instead, what I will do is I will thunder wave him. And I will push him back and away from me. Thunder wave, baby! Along with two of two of socials. Well, along with ghouls. Yeah, the ghouls are expendable. Offhand shot. Wham! I okay, so, right, there there are level five spell, Digby. <laughs> no, I use a level one spell. Uh, miss. So, I, so I, I instantly ended my turn. Um, I'm just running distraction outside to drown the noise out. All right. Um, He's singing. Yeah, I'm just I'm just drowning the noise of the. There's some weird thumping yeah, coming yeah. through the wall. I'm just trying to style it out. He's got quite high AC, I think. He does his AC is twenty? Hmm. Who is he? Don't know. Right, it's uh, been a while. A guard, I think. Maybe they're using anime armor or whatever it is to defend their lair. Well, no, he's an actual undead. Animated, not anime. An anime I said, armor. Didn't I? Animate. <laughs> Animated armor. Fuck it up? Sorry, Anime I mean, armor, yeah. The armor. He's wearing wow. more than like a steel plate yeah. bra. He doesn't have you know. cat ears, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I think so long as it's a single enemy, I kind of feel like saving spells might be a better use. Yeah, uh, it. So, three Eldritch Blasts, 90%. Old reliable. Old reliable. Mm -hmm. old reliable. Don't react, don't react. Oh. Get fucked. Very good. Mm -hmm. And he's lost some charisma, so now he has four charisma. He is untalkable. He is the death of a social party. Thank you for saying, Ziggy Diggy, and welcome. All right, go rules. I'm currently playing its sequel, and it's quite fascinating. Or can you not reach him? Which is why you're having a panic attack. And I mean... They're thinking about it. Thinking. Thinking. You're, More you're thinking. playing the drum outside the door. Yeah, I just yeah, there's a lot of like <laughs> distraction. There's a lot yeah. of yeah, yeah, distracting. You said you said close the door. And there's like there's oh, there's the sound of furniture getting fucked around in there. So I'm just sort of trying to drown it out. Yeah, just uh, lump smash, lump smash. Oh. He's dead. there. You go. Right. I think my deception paid off, oh, guys. Wow. I'm look, the he's, he's got quite a few. Hang on. He's got a key to the kennel. The Sar. Oh, hang on. The Sar family ring. What's this? It's it's um it's um an actual legendary or whatever it is. Oh really? Someone want to oh, take really? it? Oh really? It's it's orange. What's what does the... that mean? Yeah, it's a it, it says, yeah, legendary. It carries the symbol of the Saar family and has inscription for some crusty old language. Okay. Was there the? That's it. Black speak. Sorry. <laughs> I guess I'll oh, just pick it up. That... That'll be a quest item. Oh sorry, is it just quest item? I thought yeah. orange meant like amazing. Uh. I think yellow yellow is legendary. So Sorry, if you my look bad. at my character's staff, that's a legendary. Which uh, Yeah, sorry, I no. messed it up, my bad. Yeah, yeah, so I've got a legendary, Gareth has a legendary, he's got the hell dusk armor. Yeah, it's cool. You've got some heavy armor now. And and you're not even a heavy armor proficient. Yeah. So yeah, you got that off uh, Satan. Right. So I think the armor gives you proficiency, doesn't it? Yeah, so we've got two people wearing heavy armor, that's great. Yeah. I mean, our AC spread is insane when you consider, like, normal Dungeons & Dragons. Everything's got to be right for the master. Just having a quick conversation. Well, it was it was very short. Yeah. This it, woman here called Sirin, she was just, she's freaking out, cleaning, terrified of what the master might do if it's not. Yeah, they're all, they're all doing that. Yeah. The, the master it, better be damn impressive after Raphael. It better not be lost some, like, squeaky little fucking half -lip. Um... What I might do is, for this door here, mm. rather Idea. than open it myself, I'm going to use handed. the... Good plan. And that's oh. why. 
Why? The necrotic damage. He there's... fucking died. <laughs> oh, look, there's a oh there. shit, Hello. don't touch yeah. it. Don't touch it. Victoria. That it said curse. something that, remember that diary. Oh, that yeah, diary Leon's that I had. Yeah, it's a kid? It's a kid. Yeah. yeah, it's a child. So Violet's diary again, again okay. says, Casador oh, must have a... Casador must have a fine plan for this little Victoria. I wonder what it is. Hmm. Right, I'm going to have to get close to her because I have to touch her, so... Uh, curse. Yeah, one sec. Right. Oh, I've uh, removed dead. the curse. Of course she's dead. She's a vampire, isn't she? Uh, speak with dead, I think. Uh... Might be sensible. Close the door. Right, speaking with dead. Oh, the coffin oh, say apparently. Oh, what happened? Oh, really? Okay. She had a note on her, Victoria's note. Hmm. It reads Excuse me. Victoria, remember to read that ancient language book. You'll need to know some of the vocabulary to be able to move freely within the palace. Father. Hmm. Interesting. Curious. So she seems to know. Whoop. She maybe knew something. That didn't work. I fiddle Jimmy this lock. Right. See whether there's any information in it. Oh, I have a Kozakoran dictionary. Oh, the helmet of. Ar dragon. Uh, ar ar uh, dr many dragon praise. slaying, a diamond. Baldur's Gate has a substantially greater production values to do with its conversations and uh, general NPC interactions with fully voiced NPCs, uh, fully sort of uh, mo-capped NPCs. Yes. We've only ever really met the one dragon. The companions feel somehow a lot more integral than they were in the first one. The technic technically, it's a light armor helmet, but there's a helmet here. But don't kill me for saying this, but I do find that the combat feels like a notable downgrade from Divinity. Divinity, at least in my opinion, with its elemental affinity stuff, felt so much more varied compared to Baldur's Gate. I wonder if that's perhaps a limitation of D&D. Uh, flipping through the pages, you find certain words and phrases underlined. Open, enter, beware, forbidden, and seal. I wonder if that will be... Uh... Yes. Inscribed on the Tsar's signet ring, I think. Oh, oh um, so the Soviet examined the ring. Sorry? Examine the ring you Examine picked the up ring. from... Um, yeah. It says... Um, so it just says it carries the symbol of the family and has an inscription in some crusty old language. Oh. And the crusty old uh, language is Kazadorian, which I now have a dictionary for and therefore can interpret. But here, here's, here's the ring. Where is it? Uh, fuck. Have you got it? Yes. Yeah, yeah, sorry, I, I, I thought. Okay, right. Maybe I have to equip it. But yeah. Uh, no, take I it. I just gave, gave it to Gareth. Aha. <clears throat> what one do I wish to replace? I will replace the keepsake. Oh. I wonder Frank if this now will allow me to open a door, perhaps. Maybe. Yeah. Maybe you can interact with it. I think we're done like down on this level, though, are we not? Yeah. It with it. I do not have the option to combine it with anything. Yeah. Well, I think we'll just see if we can open a door with it, or that sort of thing. Maybe the magically sealed door on the level above us required Perhaps, it. Perhaps, yes. Gonna go into the Chamberlain's room, or the corridor of the Chamberlain's room, because, mm -hmm. yeah. So you have the Chamberlain's place. office and the private... I don't know if we'll trigger a fight going into his office. Does somebody want to last one uh, in close the door? Tell you what. Uh, I will head in, because if we get jumped by something, I can talk my oh, way out of it. His office is empty. His office is empty, save for this suspicious-looking a... yeah. door-like thing. Right, candelabras. They're like the most... Yeah. Switch them off, door opens. No. The no, ballroom no. door. One of the and next. a ledger. And a mysterious elixir and an ink pot. Okay. Hmm. The Provender Ledger. A ledger listing and tracking inventory goods in regular use at the Czar Palace, with categories for food and drink for servants and guests, in quotes. 
<laughs> cleaning, <laughs> cleaning supplies, including alchemical bloodstain remover from bone cloaks, opaque, opaque heavy curtains, candles of different sizes in yellow tallow and red and black wax, leather straps with buckles, balms and oils, and regular deliveries of Baldur's Mouth broadsheets. Additionally to that, there's a note that reads the ballroom door. Chamberlain hold, hold on, hold on two seconds. Mm -hmm. Mr. Bean Brother, you're wearing a fucking wedding dress. What the fuck is that? An elegant robe. I must dress are... for the... I'm on <laughs> the possibility of Baldur's Gate now. Are you cosplaying as fucking Hercules? What is this? <laughs> I was going to say, I, I'm, I'm thinking less Hercules and more Kronk, to be honest. Yeah. Like that's, that's what I'm getting. It's, it's worth I noting mean... that this playthrough, I've been thoroughly cross-dressing. This is like some dark elf... Like what is it? What's yeah, the name of that, that companion that we killed? Minthara. Like, Minthara. Yeah. I've been wearing her clothes the entire playthrough. They're very well, smug. You know, you, look, you, look at my camp yeah. clothes. I have a, a stylish uh, chain. Well, wear this robe. This is for you. Yeah. I'm all right, thank you. Very no, put it on. <laughs> I, I do, do. Oh, fine. Fuck it. Put it let's, on. Let's, put it on. Put it let's on. Let's see what it looks like. There we go. <laughs> Perfect. Oh, yes. <laughs> Perfect. Oh, it's, I'm it's, an extra it's, in the fucking Aquaman film. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. Bon Jovi and Bon Holy. Yeah. Like, yeah. Just need to get like if correct. If there was like a, a Senate that I could go and get stabbed in, this yes. is what I wear. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> right. What, sorry, what were you saying, Q? I interrupted you. Sorry. Um. Sorry, yeah. Um. Well, interesting dress. Thank you. Thanks for sharing. Yeah. Uh. So you know, there was a note that read the ballroom door. I've got to find it again now. Uh. Here we go. So, Chamberlain Dufay, the uh, Kozakuran dictionary we use to train new servants on how to operate the ballroom door has gone missing, and my signet ring alone won't... A dark horse. We're mostly here to kill things and steal shit. It shouldn't be my problem to... Uh, this playthrough is going to be extremely murder hobo -y, just as like an FYI. If you have a favourite NPC, they're probably dead already. Likely a reply. Coddy. The servants and I are thoroughly busy preparing for the master's celebration. Get your bones out of the kennel and search every chamber on the vampire spawn level, and quickly find that book. Well, it, but, we've got the book and the signet ring, and we've also killed that guy. <laughs> yeah. So I think we've got. So that's that's for the ballroom, allegedly. Um. Yeah. So. It's definitely a secret door. The Chamberlain's private room is locked, but I have a spell oh, it's scroll. Oh, it's a mirage. Open. It's a mirage door. You can go straight through it. Oh, oh really? Ah. Oh, okay. There, what the fuck is that yeah, thing? Yeah, I was going to say, there's a giant like lichen in here. Ah. It's got a private room key and a letter called My Darling Dufay. Despite all your promises that when we went to the afterlife we'd go Whatever together, ah, uh, never mind. Oh, sorry, sorry, was it so <laughs> Sorry, dude. It's still on the body. Hang on. <laughs> but it's a werewolf. Sorry, dude, sorry, dude. <laughs> did you, did you uh, read yeah, it? Yeah, so, um, yeah, despite all your promises, when we went to the afterlife we'd go together, you went without me. Or did you? I found your body and the empty bottle. I know you took a potion, but was it poison or something else? Here are two more identical bottles. I'm going to drink one of them, and then I'll join you. One way or another, I love you for a turn. It's fucking Romeo and Juliet. Right. Oh, really? Well, yeah, I mean, like, there's two bottles. Like, Romeo took one, but it didn't kill him. It just passed out. She took one that killed her. No, no, no. Juliet and stabbed herself in the heart. Oh, did she? Yeah, like by the sure dagger or whatever, I she pulled out his dagger. Yeah, she, uh, she kissed his lips to try and take some of the poison that he had taken, and when that didn't work, she straight up pulled out the dagger that yeah. he had and by stabbed rust herself and in let the me heart. die, and then stabbed yeah. herself in the heart. Um, hmm. faith, uh, faithful dagger, pierce me true and stay my breath to stop. See yourself inside my heart, and like the beat, I drop. That's from uh, that's from uh, that's from Epic Rap Battles of History, but it's roughly the it's roughly the same. <laughs> oh no, wait, froze. we're messing <laughs> it up. It, it was, it's the other way round, isn't it? Sorry, they died in a different order. Uh, um, the, the the Chamberlain's yeah. dead. I didn't do it. Juliet took the sleeping potion oh, and as given to her by the monk, so that she appeared to have died. Ju uh, Romeo came to find her, thought she was actually dead took poison to die with her. She then woke up, discovered Romeo dead next to having taken the poison, kissed him to try and take the poison herself, uh, and when that didn't work, she stabbed herself in the heart. 
And right. then you need I'm to make sure use that. The bathroom quick. Yep. Two and then you need to make sure. sure that both Romeo and Juliet are brought down to about five percent health on either side of the opera house in um, Karazan. And then you need to kill them at the exact same moment, or they resurrect each other and the fight continues. It's really annoying. <laughs> <laughs> what game's that from? World, World of Warcraft. Right. You go to an opera house. You'd love this, actually. Sorry, didn't you know this? Like, you go into an opera house, the entire raid, and you're, you're on the opera stage, and then one play will start. It's randomly selected. Like, it's Romeo and Juliet, and there's a couple of others, like Big Bad Riding uh, Sorry, um, uh, Riding uh, What's it called? Riding Hood? Little what's Red it? Riding Hood. Yeah, Big Bad Wolf, like, turns up and starts attacking you. And you've uh, got to sort of play out the play, but it's a battle at the same time. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, that is very that's cool. very yeah, cool I'm, game design. I was going to say, I'm sorry, but like games now don't have that kind of writing. Yeah, and like in the Are audience, you... you've got all these ghosts watching, like there, an audience. There was one game I played, um, I can't remember the name of it, but you had the Illuminati, you had um, a couple of other secret societies. Uh, it was an MMO, and like there was quests that actually had you go and research things in the in-game library. Yeah. So that you would have to... F the problem is, is that like with the internet, you would then like... Okay, if you had to Google yeah. something, it the, the fucking thing you're googling would be like the answer to this. It's like no, I just want to read about Vivaldi's fourth fucking yeah, sonnet or whatever. I, I, I don't care about the answer. I want the sonnet. I I was whinging about this a few days ago. In fact, like everything seems to be very functional, mechanical. Like all of the yeah. fluff uh, when you go to like a wiki page, like the fluff about oh, okay, what's this faction? What yeah. do they do? It's like no, well, no, to complete the quest, you go here. Help. Hell divers, like Hell divers is, uh, and it, Hell divers. Are you, a, are is you about to disparage game. my favorite game ever? Social let, let danger him, let will him, rock. Him but, carry on. Let him cook. Yeah, but the, it's like, like the, I think there's a lot of lore around the first game, but and you want to there's read not it. any lore in the second, and I have no idea. Like Super Earth, great, but like, where's all the things that tell you how fucking Super Earth came to be, yeah. or you know, where oh, yeah, okay. where are but, the? Yeah, I understand that. But then then you but, Google it and you get five articles about top five weapons in Hell Divers, and then you know, fucking, yeah, it's all functional. I don't, I don't care. I mean, the only thing I really cared about was finding out how the fuck to fight automatons because that mission you guys pulled me into. I was firing like wet, soggy rags at those fuckers. Yeah. It took me a good few missions to figure out how to kill them. But anyway, yeah, yeah, I, I miss, I miss the writing and world building sometimes. Anyway, I, anyway, I think I, the world building for Super, I think the world building for Hell Divers is actually they, right on the money because the whole point is that you're a 19 year old conscript who doesn't give a shit. You're indoctrinated to the point whereby you don't question anything, and so therefore seeking out any information. Would be well, you know, you're just there. You're there but, to kill automatons, kill bugs, and die for super. Earth, well, that's boring. Right? Yeah, 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 but 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 they're the, but they've already implemented the thing that I want, but they've just not done it Thank to you, the Atomic. level Thank you very much, that I, I'd like. So throughout the map, there's like little fun things that you find that are like, oh yeah, this guy, you know, it's a standard tool for a standard tool set, or. You know, this Thank guy you, was Thank transporting you much, fuel Bongo. and asked whether or not they needed a fire extinguisher and, like, there's just shit everywhere from this fire explosion. Like, there's little things that you can find in the map, like minor points of interest. Yeah. But it's just, like, I'd love to have, like, a data slate that talks about, like, the Third yeah. World War that brought Super Earth to... I don't fucking... Yeah. No, no, I know anyway. exactly what you mean. Yeah, you, no, you, I, want, I you, want, more the, you want more flavor. You want to savor the flavor of this setting by reading more about it. Yeah, give me, give me, same, like, same, uh, sorry, fucking... uh, sorry to winch, exactly, same. you know, like, five streams ago, do you remember when we went into a crypt and we found that dude who was laughing with a ring on his finger? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I, I was spending ages Googling afterwards, I wanted to know, who was that monk, who was he, you know? And just, I, yeah. I took, after about half an hour of Googling, no idea, because all the articles are like, how to complete the quest, where do you go when you have the ring, what rewards do you get? It's like, yeah, but... Who is he? What, what organization was he a part of? Tell me about the Order of Shah or something. And all of it was just functional. How to yeah. do the quest. How to get the most XP. Oh look, top five legendary weapons. What is that? I'm winching, sorry. Yeah. Hmm. No, no, yeah, yeah, we're, we're, we're on a path. But before we go down it too much, um, mm -hmm. 
The Diary of Antoine Dufay, Chamberlain of Cazador's Palace. Mm -hmm. The final page of the diary reads, I know enough about what the Master has in mind with his ritual that I refuse to be the stand-in for that missing brat Astarian. Even oh. if Cazador finds my body, the potion Bone Cloak sold me is a promise to provide a convincing illusion of death, especially since I'll leave behind a lookalike potion since I'll leave behind a lookalike potion of acid poison. Alright, okay, so like he's gonna fake his death and replace the Yeah. My one regret is my dear Luriana, but I simply can't trust her with the secret of my one chance of escape. When the potion wears off, Cazador will have ascended and I'll have uh, and will have need of my services, or he'll have or he will be no more Thank and a mastery of the palace will fall to me. So basically he's faked his own death. And okay. then his partner in life or partner in death, the werewolf didn't know about the plan and drank the acid bottle that he left behind. It is a facsimile, I guess, of Romeo and Juliet, but yeah. Hmm. Yeah, basically, Cazador was ascending and the Chamberlain was just like, fuck that noise. I'm not being the stand-in for that. So, yeah. Let's go kill vampires. Uh, Doo -doo. Let's go kill vampires. Let's go kill vampires. I'm so, touching right. the sinister door, but so, I am more sinister. It wanted a Asterion for you a ritual. Don't, you don't have the ring. Oh, here's, here's... I'm in chat. Oh, God. In chat. The Ooh. door is covered in intricate text, but you can't see anywhere a key might fit. Looking closer, you recognize the writing. It's the same Kozakuran script from the dictionary you found. The rats are an interesting... What's what the... Yeah, I don't know. Plague? The Yeah. Hmm. Uh, invest. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Uh, yeah, I'll investigate. Um... Where the tails get tied together? The Rat King? Oh, oh the Rat King. God, that, they're terrifying. Oh, you. Oh, no, I was going to say, you just. Just scraped it. Yeah, that's, that, that'll um, do. We, we do that here. Yeah, rat kings are like an unnatural phenomenon where like a whole bunch of rats get together, their tails get caught and entwined, and it's just this spinning circle of rats. They exist. It's awful. Hmm. The indentation seems to be the right size and shape to fit a signet ring bearing the family crest. Uh, read the description allowed. I, I, I'd, I'd I would leave, leave and let the guy who has the signet ring and has oh, read yeah, the diary yeah, yeah, yeah. have a crack at the maybe, door. Yeah, maybe save it. <laughs> yeah, it's a good shout on the give save. It, give it a save before we do a big fight. I'm really considering going and getting some garlic. Uh, I'm going to dip my weapon. Hang on a minute. What am I doing? I'd actually love some garlic bread. <laughs> dip my weapon in the flame. I don't have any garlic. I have an eye. Looking closer. You I, I have, have a right uh, Press uh, the Zar signet ring against the hollow and the read the door's inscription found. aloud. The ring slots perfectly into place and the door swings open. Uh, There's okay, lots of blood, blood on the floor in here and. Empty room and in, uh, oh, people rats. in ambush either side. Uh, Let's go kill them. Okay, that is a huge. Huge fucking. Right, okay. It's... Master not here, you obey me, yells one of the big furry things. Right, I'm gonna walk into the middle of this and I'm gonna see what happens. We close the door. Quick. There we go. Bye, good luck! You! Can't Are you talking? Be no yes, I am in a conversation. No. You can't be here. No one in, no one out. Most, most important, no witnesses. Important. No witnesses. Uh, gentlemen, I'm in a fight this, and I could use some assistance. Is this, is this a bit like Underworld? Like Help. No problem. Help. Help. Yeah, we're, in, we're in the fight, man. Okay, thank you. We're here. God, okay. Bloodfang. Wow, okay. Oh my word. <laughs> Dabby, 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 dabby. Yeah, this is not going to be a particularly I, fun fight. I'm looking okay. forward to trying some spells here. Go nuts! 
Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Fireball, wolves gotta go. Nothing words. Ah! Yeah. Jesus. Cat fire, you fucks. Right. Yeah, even the rest. This is a better part of Valor and backing up. We're toying. Critical Ooh. hit, ending go. Right. Moving over to the left hand side of the room here. I'm going to move into the shadow slightly, uh, just to give my crit chance a little bump up. Uh, then what I'm going to do is mark this chap with Hunter's Mark using my bonus action. Duva Rillin, 11-11 thing. He is now marked with uh, Hunter's Mark. He classifies as a werewolf. Um, I am then going to fire a Dreadful Ambush for 20 to 34. It's got a 99% chance to hit with advantage. Firing. I've put him on one hit point. Well done. <laughs> well done. Jesus. Okay. Um, is he going to... Who? When does he get his go? He's right down the end. I wonder if someone else is going to be able to get a go. In fact, what I will do, therefore, is it possible for me to throw a grenade or do any AoE damage? Possible. Fire oh, These arrow. servants are in the fight behind us, by the way. Cool. Right. Can't do anything like that. I'm just trying to find an arrow that does a lot of a large amount of AOE. Uh, tell you what, I'll fire one of these electrical arrows. It does 2d4 of electric. I might be able to kill the giant rat and this chap in one hit. Oh, nice. The nice. other chap saved. I managed to get him. That leaves me with one action point left. Uh, and we're going to use that to fire across the room into White Mist over there. 95% chance to hit. Crits for 22, and that is my turn. I could have used my jump attack, to be fair, but live and learn. Cool. Right, I'm now going to move, like I say, as close to the dark as I can, uh, just so that I get bonus crit chance and bonus armor class. And then I'm going to end my turn. Oh, look. Oh, yeah, the servant behind us. <laughs> hey, uh, the servant is kind of in the way but it's a level one, so I'm just going to fly here. Am I the one that's reading into this a bit like Underworld? Like uh, that, that, uh, yeah. The, the, oh, yeah. The, 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 the lichens aren't... Are they the, fighting they're, 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 Yeah, as in, like, they've raided this this palace. You know, they're, they're, these, are, these are a clandestine force. They're attacking here. Maybe. Um, hey, well, like, and this, we'll, this, that, that would explain vampires. why that would explain why everything in here is trashed and it's covered in blood. Yeah. That's, and there's yeah. dead bodies everywhere. I reckon the dead bodies are the vampires of this court that was here, yeah. and these werewolves have raided it for whatever reason. Yeah. What was that about ascending, right. though? I don't know. I'm gonna cast uh, Corn of Cold. I can get a few of them oh, with this. Nice. Good. Wow, very nice. Fuck. God damn. Ripes. Holy shit. But it is code of cold. It's quite a high level spell. Yeah, it's a level five <laughs> spell, I think. Yeah. Yeah, I don't really have any movement, so that's all I can do. And my ghouls go after the level one. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Jesus. Yeah, I, I didn't react there oh. because I just wanted to let... Your ghouls are just going to ransack the rest of the palace, I think. Yeah. <laughs> well, to be fair... Uh, the rats, I'm going to get fuck off. Stop on me. Get away. Rats, rats and bats coming for you. Yeah. Rats, rats and bats. Boots and cats. Boots and cats. Right, charm. <laughs> Where's that from again? Fuck. It's uh, how you beat bombs. Oh, yeah, you make like Siri beatbox. Cats. Yeah. Cats. Boots and cats. Oh. Nice. You can still run. <laughs> My turn. Maybe they're like the gate guards, you know, they got that glazed expression, they're shells. Yeah, yeah. perhaps. Right, Lumpy Froth moves Good here. Shell. I'm going to then. Uh... Oh, I need to take a. Sh ah, most of my abilities are on. Yeah, waiting a short rest. Um. Oh, how weird. Okay, I'll just stab shit. Stab a bat for 85. Stab a rat for 95. Stab this bat for 85. Getting a lot of experience for killing these. Yeah. Are they real bats or vampires that have turned into bats? Is that a thing? No, they're not real bats. Yeah, I mean, you'd think a. 
I don't know, a decent vampire would, wouldn't be a 4 HP bat. Yeah, that's all I can really do. Then again, if you wild shape, you take the HP of that thing and then shape back into yourself once it gets to zero, right? Well. So if they were the vampires in disguise, we'd kill a 4 HP vat and a 120 HP vampire would just shit itself out of it, wouldn't it? Thank you, Joe. Right. Thank you very much, Joe. Thank right. you. I'm, I'm basically pinned in the corner Thank by you. these tiny little lads, so I'm going to have to would spend you, some time Would you like them. a hand? I mean, it's up to you. I can either deal with them with three single attacks, but I don't know. I mean, it's basically mm. these guys um, left. So I'm I could magic left. missile these guys if you want to use your actions on something else. But I think that's it. I think this is it. This is it. We're done here. Yeah. Ah. It's almost over. All right. right, so I'm just going to go and just offhand stab. Nope. I'm going to go on hand stab. <laughs> And then another on hand stab on this. Thank you, Pro uh, Prodigal Son 15. Thank you, Prodigal Son. So, yeah, if you want to take this last chap, you're more than welcome. Cool. I'm going to move to here. And then we'll do Magic Missile. How many projectiles do I have? It's four. A oh, one. And a two. And a three. And a four. A two. Nice. All right. That's the ads. Oh, I didn't kill that. Fuck off! Did I not kill that rat? Just unrolled a three. There, Die. <laughs> there we go. Right. Uh, it's just the but lycanthrope on the floor we got to deal with. Yeah, the lycan and the the little lady at the back. It's Which fine. Which I think I the think ghouls the... are going to eat. <laughs> yeah. She's supper, I think. Yep. Right. Um, okay. Mr. Lincoln on the floor. Um, Who's the prettiest of them all? Sorry. <laughs> yeah, come fly with me. Bloody hell, what the fuck? Yeah, it's uh, it's Eldritch Blast. Um, it's it's a bit. It's nuts just Eldritch now. Blast yeah. things, yeah. 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 Ah. <laughs> the, the lunch queue, I think, is. Yeah, that's the one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's effectively a... engaging this person. Yeah, uh, I hope knife, she runs. Uh, knife or parry. No, she, she has not run. <laughs> I think we just let the ghouls finish it, guys. What do you think? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that's the one. End turn. Yeah. We'll also end my go. Go on, ghouls. There we go. Hey, okay. just, a, just, a, just a swipe from the other room. Uh, uh, this, this corpse here is glowing green, almost like it wants you to talk to it. Just an yes. assertion I'm noticing. Also a oh, the party guest. Yeah, let me let me oh. have a conversation I... with them. I have two notes. I'll just leave. Fancy, I've been invited to a party at the Cesar Palace tonight in their ballroom. Show the Chamberlain at the door with this note, and he'll let you join me. Wear your best dress, Kiara. Hmm. The corpse oh, regards you. Yeah, yeah they, they, they want to talk. I'll dig me read the other one. I'll um just keep them comfortable. And boy, I will come out of the conversation with you I will split this item what does the other one say Banzi, I've been invited to a play at a party in the Cesar Palace tonight in their ballroom show the Chamberlain the door this note and he'll let you join me where you best dress Kalira both notes are from the same person yeah all right who killed you Wolves arrived when our host left Slaughtered us. Okay, they were a sacrifice, I'm guessing. Uh, where did the host go? West door. Took most beautiful people away. Never saw again. That's more insulting than the death, to be honest. Yeah. One of the uggos, you could stay here and die. Yeah, and he knows it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He's like, well, fine, you know. That's my uh, fate, I suppose. He sits there drinking hmm. wine as the werewolf. Yeah, who else was here? Politicians, minor nobles, fist officers, all sorts. That last group is great in an orgy. Um... Yeah, the fist officer. <laughs> <laughs> what did you want with all these people? Information. Asked so many questions. Power structures in city. Weaknesses. Who he needed to control. Huh. What a rubbish party. Yeah. Yeah, that's a, that's a bit of a Debbie Downer. Yeah, <laughs> you look stinker. awful, social. Yeah. You look awful. It's, it's COVID. I'll, I'll feel yeah, better in a week. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> hmm. 
Hmm. Uh, I mean, the last two questions are pretty, pretty bad. Going by a D and D movie, if I leave, he uh, he doesn't go back. He doesn't. What happened? No, have don't, you watched the D and D movie? Don't do that. Don't be cruel. You pull uh, this guy's a... soul back from the afterlife. The least you can do is let him go there again. Yeah. There's a there's a good bit uh, where the sorcerer is doing this exact spell, and uh, one of the guys they don't ask the the full number of questions, and he's just in his grave like, uh, oh no, guys, it's like trapped in this corpse. Um, That's horrible. Yeah. Anyway. Anyway. Uh, fucking. Who are you? Sterlach, senior clock in counting house. Cool. He's an accountant! The spell's power wanes. You can ask no more questions. A very oh. interesting book here called The Gate Pub Crawl Guide. <laughs> oh, we need to oh that. okay. Yeah. Where, where does it recommend we go? <clears throat> I, I reckon we do that. <clears throat> I know we've got this, the world to save and everything, but... This this excerpt is from the Gates Pub Crawl Guide. Suggests that more than one drink was imbibed during this writing. Uh, it says in parentheses, uh, Everyone goes on about the elf song. How iconic it is. How interesting its ghost is. Well, boo, I say. <laughs> I, I wish to have music, drama... And I can't with a spirit jealous enough to stop any but itself from performing. Therefore, it is with stupendous delight that I suggest many other glorious boozing establishments. Take the Blushing Mermaid, where you can watch Shimmer the Siren dazzle the crowd, or simply enjoy its swashbuckling patrons singing shanties and beat one another into oblivion. Or maybe perhaps you fancy a delightful venue with live music and the most sour waitstaff you've ever met. If so, the singing lute is for you, tucked away by the harbour. It's perfect for a romantic evening, if nothing else. Hank's delightful demeanour will make you grateful for your beloved. However, there remains another watering hole. One that only the most daring, the most courageous of patrons dare to go. Should you wish to test your mettle and rub shoulders with the city's secret underbelly, underbelly I can only tell you this. Enjoy the guild hall. Lovely. Um, yeah, I think so we've been to the guild hall part. Yeah, yeah, the guild hall is the tavern yeah. uh, where, the, where the thieves' guild is. Where the thieves are, thieves are, uh, but yeah. we've not been to the one at the harbour. I'm looking forward to going to the singing loop. Yeah. <laughs> so, but for obvious reasons. Before we go into the west door, Thank I thought we could go into the office hall. Yeah, okay. okay. Because yeah. it looks like there's a a dais here. A dais? Oh yes. Yeah, I'm the uh, dais. Uh, does every, okay. What the fuck is a dais? A clean metal platform. <laughs> Some scuffs to show its age. Signs of things dragged onto it over the years, but it seems to be in good working order. Oh, oh it's it's like yeah, a so it's an elevator. Yeah. What's, so it's old, down. what's beneath Baldur's Gate? Um, uh, uh, Baldur's uh, basement. Bald, yeah, Baldur's <laughs> foundation. Yeah, Baldur's wine cellar. Right. We're in the Chamberlain's office again, aren't we? Uh, a, I think no, it's a different way in. A... Yeah. What was that nonsense about like ascending and needing a stereo? There's a wooden door in the corner here. <clears throat> Where? Now I yeah. looked at it. It doesn't. Uh, whether or not it is a door, I don't know. That's it could just the, be a corner. That's the west door. That's where um, thingy went. But it's, all it's... Of the yeah, the, the where the beautiful people went. But it's. Oh, to I need to go there immediately. Out of my way. Oh. Thick ass robes. Yeah, it's not letting us go through there, so I think we have to take the, the elevator. Dias. Okay. Dias. Yes, we... A most what? dire situation. Mm. There's also a ladder, by the way, uh, across the... That goes up. Yeah, but do we not want to explore up before we yeah, go down? Uh, yeah. Lead the way. I have not seen a ladder. Where's the ladder? It's over here. 
Follow Tis me, my East. esteemed gentlemen, into the bottle room. Oh. Oh, uh, dear. Oh, yes, I see mm. your ladder. Oh, yeah, I, I, I tried to look at this earlier, but the camera kept flicking me over. Funny is disconcerting that when you, lose, when you use the ladder, all of your ghouls just blink out of existence. Mm. There is a button on the wall here. Press it. A very suspicious button. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to press the button. Fuck it. Yeah, I've Get found a button as well. I've heard it. I can't reach you because your ghouls are in the way. Oh, I've, I think I've opened it. Oh, interesting. Oh, there we Hang go. on. There we go. Oh, we're in the attic. Oh, look. Okay. Coffin. So, so I found... So, the, there's a button down here in the bottle room. Mm -hmm. It closes the door to the bottle room, but opens the door to the west wing. Okay. It's kind of like it's like a latch key ah, type thing. Ah, okay. So, whoever's in here, it, like, it opens the other door. So, one person has to either remain here and get through the attic somehow. Hmm. But I'll come up the ladder and see what you guys are doing. Uh, mostly stealing shit. Yeah, there was a letter about somebody being invited to the palace. Um, it's fucking state up here, isn't it? Thank you, Eterna Day. I suggest you, you very much. take it slow, gentlemen. I have the eye that can see invisibility, but let's um, not charge ahead. Oh, there's a door here. I wonder if this is a way to get across to the West Wing once the door's oh. open. Garlic! There Garlic! Is a Garlic. Why would they oh, have yes, garlic? garlic and a heavy rusty crossbow hmm. on a skeleton? The skeleton has a silver necklace and a candle. It's going to open this door. I pushed. Mm -hmm. I pushed the button. Mm -hmm. I'm going to go through here. More coffins. Uh, silver Nothing. glass. Nothing is succeeding Ooh. hiding checks against my invisible eye, and we have another ladder up. A jury kit. There's, I found some sort of torture room and another button and a Ghost. similar door. Yeah, going up is just further into the act. Um, well, let's explore it, why not? Mm -hmm. Did they need access to the, the sky for some reason? Oh, hang on a minute. I think we're losing social. We are? A bit robotic there, nope. and there was a little bit of... You, you've you got packet loss, I can hear it, unless it's me. No, no, uh, I think I can fine. hear it as well. Am I... I think you're I just recovering. Going? You sound fine. You are... You're all right at the moment. You've got 6% six, six packet loss. Yeah, I must have just had a hiccup, or it's probably just downloaded yeah. something. Okay. Well, I, um, yeah. Nothing in the attic um, that I can see. Yeah, no, the the only thing I got was some, um, like, stuff out of chest. I think it's just uh, an area to explore. Hmm. Okay, so if we come back down, mm -hmm. I think this is an alternative way into the West Wing, where the, okay. uh, where the, where the pretty people went. Because the door that I opened over here, I noticed another button and another one of these sliding doors, similar in make. Ah. Oh, yeah. So I think it's possible that if we all come in here... Oh, I've got a butin behind the... Yeah, there we go. A butin? What's a butin? Oh, oh my <gasps> fucking oh, I see. Oh, Excuse me. No, 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 pardon me, pardon me, me uh, first. Just, uh, just I'm a beautiful mind. person, pardon me. Hey, 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 hey! Oh. Already in use? Fuck off! Oh. Oh. <laughs> you know the, oh, the one key thing I've Kazadol's loved about dungeon. this game? Damn it. Is that it shows all the treasure in gold, and as soon as somebody takes it, it's <laughs> yeah. all gone. It's none of this yeah. fucking empty piles of gold. Yeah. Uh, uh, I'll say the... there was a couple of uh, there's a couple of gold rings in there, um, nondescript and and, uh, and some gold. I'll uh, yeah. I'll actually spread it out. Uh, see how we do. We're um, actually very close to level twelve as well. We're getting there. Yeah. Well, sorry. Was there any interesting items, or is it? No, just no. Just just junk. Loot? There's, uh, there's, a there's a letter here from someone called Lady. Door Can anyone open the door? Ah, there we go. There's a letter uh, here from someone you... called Lady Incognita, uh, uh. a whinging that she's now a vampire. Lady Incognita. Yeah. Okay. Oh look, these big, oh. these big, really big caskets. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I beg your pardon. Right. There's a, there's, uh, a there's, a, there's a button oh, no, in the no, room. Hit the button. He's, he's all right. Where, where's the he's button? Okay. Uh, onwards. 
party you, you members. You open the door, you okay. bastards. There's a button in the room. I'm not smart not enough to hit right, a button. Okay. It's in there. Where is it? It's never heard oh, that's from it, that's again. It, that's it, that's it. You bunch of bastards. Don't you even think about doing what you're going to do. Don't you even think about doing what you're going to do. Fuck you. Fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. <laughs> uh, I just heard frantic. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just trying to click it and close it. Suck but... my dick. I got out. And I knew you. I know you. <laughs> right. I don't think he's going to hit the button the moment I fucking... <laughs> Uh, hey, if I wasn't going to do it, yeah, someone else in the course. party was definitely yeah. going to do it. I know, I've, I've been in this clan way too long to trust you with anything. <laughs> I'll, uh, I'll go ahead and, if you guys want to move through, I'll go ahead and open the door for you to the west wing. Alright. Wait, which way did you go? Oh, do we not need no. to take the dais? Well, no, because this door opens. What door uh, opens? It, that, that, door, that door that you're over here. This door opens. It seems to be like a latch key system. I oh. close. I close the door to the bottle room, yeah. and that door slides open. On the piano here, the sheet music is sheet music for General Sandro's death suite, a funerary celebration in three parts. These people got red wedding. Oh yeah. Um, uh, Blomp, if you want to go through there over to this door, uh -huh. I've opened. Uh, I've opened. Ah it. yes, for me, a beautiful person. Here I go. Yeah. Oh no, there's um, a dead person in here. I can't see there's it. There's also cheese. a big chest. Ah, Kalira. Do you want to speak to the corpse? Uh, she was the one who was sending out the invites to the other two. Ah. Yeah, let's see if she uh, wants to have a conversation. <laughs> the corpse. Mm, of course, a conversation. She you mean? Dead. Reanimate the dead. What, what does it say when you can't speak to them? Just says uh, this corpse has nothing to say. Yeah. Ooh, there is uh, alchemical you get, you get, ingredients in here, Dutch. You get, you get a couple of WhatsApp oh, ticks. I can yeah. make a supreme and a couple of things. Another buton that opens and closes the slidey door. Ah, uh, is that opens my door? Yeah, that's it. Yeah, it's so the I'll other side of the latch key. So this is where they plan. Yeah, do you want to let me out? Oh, I, can let my, I, can let, I can let myself out. But let me hit the button. I'll let you out. It is. Oh, there's a loot. And that closes your door. But yeah. yeah. Hmm. But there you go. You can uh, open it now. There you go and leave it right. open. All right, so we go must way. go down the dais. The dais. It's dais time. Okay. So for those audience members joining, we are in Baldur's Gate. We're just sort of rummaging through a vampire's house. Get fucked! There's no... Ooh. There's no particular reason for us to be doing this. We're just being, well, yeah. nosy. I think it's related to a companion that we don't bring with us, so we don't know what's going on. Hang on. Send into the depths. you got to do it each your own. All right. So I think we're, we're moving through the quest area of a specific companion called a Serion. I, I feel like there's a little bit of a... Uh... A Titanic situation going on here. There's mm -hmm. definitely enough space on the floating door for all of us. Why are we all <laughs> going to do it individually? Yeah. I'll, uh, um, are you curious? Can we take short rests here? Uh, so can. I found. I can, I can sing a song of short on a rest. Clean metal which yeah, I wouldn't mind that. Just to top up some spells before going into potential. Seems to be in good working uh, end game I'm, I'm easy. I can do either yes. way. Oh, there's an ancient signal here as well. So I'll... Activate the sigil. Uh, right, okay, stand by. Let me sing a song of short rest. Whoa, 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 whoa. Did it get me? I haven't done it, it yet. Cool, I'm here. And a one, and a two, and a three. Rest! Ah. There we go. Short I feel rest. I'm, I'm reimagining myself as a bard. I'm kind of doing minimalist stuff. I'm thinking about diverging into slam poetry. Oh um, God, Jesus Christ! Baldur's Gate, what is it? Isn't it just ourselves, but larger? See, I'm working on it. I, I'm on, just thinking it might throw be a fucking bronze goblet at this motherfucker. Yeah. Missed. You missed. Damn it! <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. What's this place? Hang on, what's this? About? So it looks dwarven in nature. Oh, really? Yeah. <clears throat> Hold on, I can skip levels. It's a crypt. It's a crypt. And, yeah. and we found those caskets of, of a similar design to this. In, yeah. the, in their attic. 
Oh, this looks awful, dude. This, this, this is this is so like head vampire territory. This is awful. What? Yeah. This one here. I... Yeah, just look at the gargoyles either side of an enchanted uh... door. Okay. Let's go poke. Yeah, I can. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this has got proper evil doer energy about it, isn't it? Yeah. An entombing clot is open. Is on this door. I wonder oh, no, that's, if that's lump. That's lump. I wonder yeah. if I need to use my um that Casadorian. Uh, Script thing I, I learned oh, about earlier. I, I I think I got a I think I picked up a key earlier that might help us here. I don't know. Well, it was on the floor. I, I don't know whether I managed to grab it. Yeah, I mean, like I can fly down to the levels below, but I have no idea what uh, the deal might be. Let's just. I'll I'll attempt to open the door with my knowledge of this fake language or this old language that we have. Sure. Like the door to the ballroom upstairs. This door Press the, no uh, press the Zar signet ring to the hollow in the door. Indentation for a signet ring. The ring slots perfectly into place, and the door opens, assailing you with pungent, musty air. They keep the slippers. And we're in. Mm -hmm. There is oh, a there's... skull on a cushion ahead of us. Yeah, Murray. Murray! Distinguish my name. <laughs> Guy <Guybrush> three <laughs> Alright. Well, there was something about ascending. Oh, I, no, I, you're I talking to the skull. It rests a skull with a scroll clamped in its bony jaws. The skull's empty eye sockets flare with an eldritch gleam. You feel invited somehow to witness the skull's memories. It seems urgent. Let the memories rise and unfold. Let them wash over you. This skull is all that remains of the vampire Velios. He turned Casador, gave him the gift, and then taught him the rules of vampiric existence. So what's this? What, reverence? Okay. Maybe, yeah. Um, let's. I'm going to try and use my wisdom here. I don't have much. Hold on. Hold on. Bardic inspiration. Okay, I, I've got more. Focus on the creepy skull. <laughs> you have rolled a natural one. <laughs> uh, it feels like a waste to use the inspiration. Uh, yeah, yeah I'm, not, I'm, I'm not wise. I am wise. I am wise. to Velioth's ghostly whisper. I shall be wise. When Casador reached out to a former friend, his punishment was to watch as Velioth drained his friend dry. Rude. Hey. Okay. Try again. You can have a second insp. Oh, Don't fuck this up, come. and you didn't this time. Velioth's second lesson is that power comes from solitude. To share with others is to be weak, and to be weak is to fail and die. Bit of an incel, Veliot this guy. Uh, when Casador rebelled against him, Casador suffered eleven years of impalement because he failed. Bless him. Ah, uh. not allowed to say that on Twitch anymore, are you? I apologise to any. <laughs> Any lonely people in chat? What insert? You can't say You yourself? can have another bardic inspiration, and it hey. may actually help. Boom! You're welcome. Valiot's third lesson is to act not in haste. A near immortal has time to plan, time to act, only when others will pay the price of action. Velioth recalls Casador, his lessons learned, killing him in the rite of perfect slaughter. How they both laughed. Velioth recalls Casador boiling the flesh from his skull, and then to mock him, clamping his schooling scroll in Velioth's jaws. The skull's eyes flash a final time, and its jaws sag open. The scroll with all of Casador's rituals is yours. Velioth is no more. Hmm. Okay, I have the Black Mass scroll. Can I keep the skull? Yeah, uh, go ahead. Add uh, it to the collection, buddy. I can't pick it up. Damn yeah. it. 
So, unfurling the scroll reveals a list of foul rites and rituals detailing all the ways death can be turned to one's advantage or simply made more interesting. The right of perfect slaughter, the liturgy, litur oh Jesus Christ, liturgy of the dead, the sacrament of the damned, and many more strange accursed rituals cover the parchment. The final entry, however, is familiar. Rite of profane ascension, O Petius dead, O ravenous dead, immortality is your gift, but darkness is your prison, and hunger it's, uh, G-A-O-L-E-R, I want to say, jailer. it'd be jailer, but it's, it's not, yeah, it's, the old it's, the re of it's the real way to yeah. spell jailer. Yeah. yeah. The rite of profane ascension will release you, walk in the sun. Suffer not from hunger, grow your power beyond anything you can imagine. A pact has been made with the Lord of Hellfire. Deliver unto him seven thousand souls, each bearing an infernal mark, and you <laughs> shall be free of your chains. You shall know true power. Okay. Deliver the souls, speak souls. the words. Echi Dominus has animus offero in sectifero, nunc volo postatum quam polictus es mihi. Anyone got it Latin? And I think it's something about pox of his anus. I yeah, think. terms and conditions yeah. apply. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Terms yeah. and conditions. <laughs> Oh, sure God, that's what it means. Supreme executive God. power, but you've got to give us seven thousand souls. Yeah. The fuck. They're not seven thousand. Okay. Eleven thousand souls. Yeah. There's also I, I I found like a book talking about the thieves guild. It was a bit of a lengthy read, but there was a, a letter here to a guy called Morel Alcum. It reads. Uh, it's from Casador, and it reads, "I suppose, as you say, that you have reason to be proud of the expansion of the little vampire circle in your city." Of course, uh, Afkatla is more homogenous than Baldur's Gate, and you face fewer challenges from other factions and law enforcement. But still, accept my kudos on your progress there. Enjoy your success while you can, Alcum, for I'm afraid that very soon it will be surpassed by my situation in Baldur's Gate, definitively so. I am on the verge of a long-planned transformation that entirely changes the rules of the game. Too long have I been content to be merely a major's city's vampire lord, when I can be so, so much more. And I shall. But that's all I'll say about the matter at present, young Alcum. After all, we mustn't give away the surprise entirely. Yours, Casador Sar. So some sort of transformation. Could that be the right of whatever it was mm. that you guys were talking about? Yeah, he wanted Asterion to do a right of something. As uh, ascension? Yeah, it might be a stand-in or something akin to that. Sorry, I, I just went to the area below. I'm picking up, like, all sorts of fun shenanigans. Mm -hmm. Is there an easier way down there without taking so much damage? Yeah, there's, oh, like, oh, a... Oh, oh, oh. No, um, never mind, you found <laughs> it. I found a way down! <laughs> I found a way down! Just wait and chill there. Ow! Um, I'm fine. Ignore the yeah, phone. I'm fine. The oh, there's a crypt gate oh. right here. There we go. Oh. And I used the key to Cazador's dungeon. Dungeon, yes. I found something I found. There's a gloomy ascent. Should we go up and figure out where this leads to? Uh, we could do. Alright, let's have a quick peek. Picking up. Let's yep. take us. Loading. Yeah, the the lower city sewers. Okay, so it's part of the the sewer the sewers. system. Then. Interesting. O isn't okay. O isn't orange stuff supposed to be down in the sewer? Yeah, yeah it is. We want to be careful, I think. Oh yeah, we're we're like far north of the guild hall, so yeah. Oh, yeah. Um. Orin actually isn't too far away from here. That's Wait, good to Should we explore? Boss. Should we explore back down? Go back. Go back yeah, to yeah, the... Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's go kill a vampire. Oh no! Oh no, we're fine. 
Yeah, there's a button here. Okay. So Vampire Lord getting too big for his boots. Wants to ascend. Alright. It's very Ministry of Magic looking. Yeah. The Department Definitely of Mysteries. Like yeah, oh yeah, that's it. Yeah. Department of, of Mysteries. Oh, perception check. I've failed running through. Oh. I succeeded. There is a Dirt. shovel here. Shovel, shovel, shovel. This, this place yes. is trapped. Someone just said this place is trapped. Oh, oh you just oh, yeah. dug up a casket. And it's uh, trapped. It? But no, no, I got it, I got it. I can disarm the trap. I've managed to open it. I can it. hear voices. Can you hear voices? Yeah. Yeah. I tend to ignore them. Oh, it's got something called the Pelos, the Pelor Sun Blade. Uh, a very rare blade that does nine to nineteen damage. Does nine one to d good. One, it's a, it does one uh, d eight plus five of piercing and one d four of radiance. Undead bane Ooh. attack rolls against attack rolls with this weapon against the undead have advantage. Thank you, crazy. Uh, it's a finesse rapier. Re, re, uh, rapier. Oh, I use finesse weapons, and as much as I yeah. don't want to get rid of my singing sword. <laughs> yeah, yeah, grab it. But like plus, I mean... like plus four damage. You can, I've, I've been using a ring since the Underdark that gives me plus two acid damage. You can't scoff at bonus damage. But I'll send it to you. Um, if you like it, use it. Uh, if Ooh. not, sell it at your own discretion. I'll try it out. Yeah, yeah. I feel I feel like I'm cheating on my singing sword right now, but I'll try it out. To be it's fair, so I never use the singing sword that. ability because it's. It's it's a uh, it requires um, requires an action that I never have. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. Okay. Well, that kind of dead end. I, I can definitely hear voices, voices. Beyond, this, beyond that chasm. Yeah, does that make sense? I wonder if the other there... door up high will get us to where we need to be. But we gotta get back up there. Hmm. Way. But back the way we came, I think. Jump back up onto that plinth and uh I can see an area, but it's 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 collapsed. There's an area through here, but it's all broken and ruined. Follow me. Follow I just wonder if I can no, I can't get there right now. Follow me. Oh hello, yeah. There we go. Where are you going? Yeah. Over there? Oh fuck. Got a very small window to jump on it. There's one that goes up and down. This would have been nice to know about a little earlier. Don't you even think about it. Oh god, I missed, I missed my Apparently I missed my jump. Yeah, you ready? You ready? As in, I jumped, but it didn't let me jump. Uh, click, 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 click now. Whee. Don't you guys even think about it. I wasn't thinking Don't about it. You were said. fucking thinking about it. Right, go, 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 go. go, go. Woo. Uh, hey, ah. Woo. Nice one. Yeah, that was easier than breaking your leg, wasn't it? Like... <laughs> it was. I got there in the end. We're missing a man. We're social. I'm over here. I, I fucking flew up. I, oh, yeah, I you got your Mary Poppins shit. Have... Yeah, I, I don't have the same problems as you, uh... <laughs> as we, yeah. We move. Yeah. Mary Poppins. Thank you, um, very much, cry Crazy? Crazy? And Crazy Salty. Right, let me put my boots of striding back on. Take my featherfall boots off. I can hear the voices, too. Yeah, so... Yeah, and Gareth, was... you need to... Yeah, Signet Red Mist. Let's have a look. Yeah. Just like the door to the ballroom upstairs, this door features no keyhole, but does have an indentation for a Press the signet ring. ring into the hollow of the door. Mm. The ring slots perfectly into place, and the drawing uh, oh, there's people in here. assailing you with punches. Well, I say people, air. I think vampires. They're trapped here. Oh, shit. Oh, you and Dialog. Faces stare out of the cells. Some Might be able to open eyes, these doors with a signet ring. Away. Oh, There's vampires! A physical stink of decay and neglect. Please. 
I what don't are you? know. <laughs> what am I? What are you? I don't know. But I'm hungry. Perhaps we don't I've let them been out. Hungry for so, so long. No, I, I think but perhaps we leave them there. Be here. He'll find you, and he won't kill you. He won't ever let you die. Uh, I don't think we're too worried about him. Oh, you failed a perception check there. <laughs> yeah. How did this happen to you? The last thing I remember. I was drinking with a pale, beautiful elf. We laughed. We kissed. We stumbled back to this palace and... And then... Then it gets so dark. I woke up here. Like this. Asterian. Hmm? Asterian. What? The pale, beautiful yeah. elf. Yeah. Well, <laughs> What's his name? Oh, yeah. There we go. I'll never forget him. You did say that. He he was he a procurer. He called me so many sweet things. My name sounded like music on his tongue. I'm just okay. listening, though, this voice actor, like, for That's just an NPC, job. is like, yeah. Um, where are the keys to your cells? His stuff. It controls everything down here. But he never sets it down. You'll never get it. I wouldn't be so sure about that. Uh, I've got no <laughs> choice but to say it, yeah. I was going to say, yeah, like, it's, uh, I think that's the first time I've come to a conversation where I've not been given hmm. the option to back choice. out. Yeah. Maybe, yeah, maybe, just... maybe you would have one if, uh, sorry, another option if you've got the perception check. Mm. I don't know. Maybe, yeah. Like, I'm not going to. You can't. <laughs> it's not possible. Why not? They're tight. You can't stop him. No one can stop him. Interesting. Okay. Uh, hmm. Right. Uh, this crypt gate. Oh yeah, this looks like Ooh, a boss arena. This looks fun. Oh this yeah. Ooh. There's a fucking casket right in the middle of that. Yeah. Thing. Get your shit There's ready, boys. There's a fucking boys. vampire in there. Yeah, hang on. Um. Hang on. What have I got? A nice slow epic walk down, I think. Uh, hang on. Yeah, definitely a sneaky one. Because if we can dodge whatever is down there, like, uh. There's someone Hail standing Petrus, there. Sacrificial lambs. Uh, Kazador Zar, Vampire Lord. And There's to his, his left, stuff. there is someone hovering. There's an elf with her tits out to the left. Ooh. Uh, Ooh. And yeah, yeah there's oh. two elves with their tits out and a couple of other people. Um, and the, there are werewolves down here. Yeah. What's he ranting about? Talking I've worked about... too long on this ritual to have that brat spoil it now. Do you want me to talk to him and then we can see if we can talk yeah. to him? I'll try right. and talk give to it, him. Give it a go. Let's go. Hello, Casador. I mean... How you doing, bud? No, oh, this okay. is unexpected. You who follow on the heels of our poor lost son. Has he sent you here to parley on his behalf? Hmm? Will he not even speak to his own family? Uh, honestly, I don't think he's ever left the camp. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, he Ooh. could hand him over. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> what will they give us? Well, he is responsible for all those people locked in cages back there. Yeah, but to whatever end these guys are summoning, I don't know whether or not it's going to be good. Yeah. Plus, they'll be dead in a few they're not, anyway. They're not summoning. They're ascending Cazador so that you can walk in the sunlight. 
Oh, that's bad. I th- I I think I think they're close to their seven thousand souls, which is oh. why he's down here. I get it. Right, I'm with you. So, what do we think? Let's kill him, gentlemen. Just probing with you're not his family is a monster. Uh, that's kind of like a jab in the ribs. Maybe it will get us something more. Yeah, you're you're not his family. You're a monster. What is family if not the monsters we are obliged to love? Hmm? Fair. What the fuck is, is your family? Do what do you mean because fair? Because he yearns to be with his people. Because this is all he knows. You don't know Gareth's childhood. You have been an interesting distraction for him, no doubt. But your time together is over. I when wouldn't you be don't return, with that tragic backstory. He will realize he has nowhere else to go. He will come to me. And he will be mine. Interesting. Hmm. Let's just attack him. What if oh. I just bring a star in to you? I could, I could walk him right in here. Oh. And as we're friends, oh, I'll roll with advantage. Yep. I can't see the roll. Sorry. He's done it. 27. No. Needed a, needed a DC 20, got a 27. You would turn on him? <laughs> How delightfully treacherous. Hmm. Very well. I give you one chance. Return with my wayward boy, and perhaps I will let you live. That's your offer? But cross me, and I promise. I will deliver you an eternity of suffering! That's rubbish. I hope we understand each other. Now go. He, sorry, no, hold on. Uh, I've been saving for this. Yeah, he, he thinks he, he needs to be bartering for his life, not trying to threaten us. That's it? He's offering not to attack us? Apparently so. I say we, I say we kill this dude. Yeah, he's fucked. What an idiot. Yeah. Why, why are you... Okay, no. Let's do this properly. Let's not just surround him with fucking explosions. <laughs> let's kill him properly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got it saved? Hang on. Wait, 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 wait. Before you do anything, can I just put this down here? You guys yeah, might yeah, want to yeah, use this. This, is, this isn't even pre-planned. This is just whoa, whoa, whoa. the shit I have in my inventory. You guys might want to get uh, dip your uh, weapons in fire. Aren't they vulnerable to fire? I don't know. Uh, hold on, uh, I shall radiant, examine I him. Uh, he is resistant to slashing, piercing, and bludgeoning, and immune to necrotic. Yeah, there's a candle he's here. He's alert, which means he cannot be surprised. Uh, he has arcane vampirism. When the creature affected by your spells fail any associated saving throws, you regain one to four hit points. Uh, he has sunlight hypersensitivity. This creature takes 20 radiant damage if it starts its turn in sunlight. Well, suddenly it has disadvantage on attack rolls and ability checks, and it has vampiric regeneration. The vampire regains 20 hit points at the start of its turn if it isn't in sunlight or has taken radiant damage or damage from holy water, in which case this trait doesn't function until the end of its next turn. Start of its next turn. He has 208 hit points, and he is a level 12 vampire with an AC of 16. I suggest I'm probably going to end up using my sword in this one because I need to do radiant damage to him. Yeah, let's stab him. Let's go. Right, yeah, I'm ready to initiate. It. Let's go. Give me a sec. What? Step back, sir. Uh... You're in the blast radius of my fireball. No, it's fine. I'm just, uh, just seeing as he doesn't mind what we're doing. Um... <laughs> Step back, sir. You're in the blast radius of my fireball. Social, what are you doing, man? Uh, uh, one sec. Just uh, doopie doo, doopie doo, doopie doo, doopie doo. I've got a special uh, smoke smoke powder bat, smoke powder arrow. I can follow oh, yeah, up with as well. Step back, dude. You're in the blast radius of my fireball. I have now warned yep. you three times. Do, 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 do. Fireball. <laughs> How much, how much you do to him? Yeah, Man, fuck <laughs> Just did 70 oh, health to nice. him. Nice. back. Bitch. Thank you, Dakin. Thank you very much, Dakin. Yeah, and the psionic. 
Ooh. Oh, he's got that through. Oh, there go your your backing dancers. My goal is to yeah. step. Sorry, what is his portrait on the combat thing? Uh, <laughs> yeah, he's very oh. derpy. Right, nice. offhand shot. I can't hit him because he's. Oh, I can hit him even though he's in the mist. Probably Fuck got you. like some sort of damage <laughs> resistance. Yeah. Right, end turn. It's just a floating eye if you examine him. <clears throat> right. Okay. Uh, I, I don't know why I've got a bad feeling about the ads. I'm going to start dropping them. Mm -hmm. I think the glowy ones. Yeah, I'm going to move over here and start working on sacrificial lamb. Yeah. Leon. Probably going to be draining them for health. Yeah, so I'm going to apply Hunter's Mark to him with a bonus action. And ah, then I'm going to yes. hit him. Uh, entity cannot move or take actions, bonus actions or reactions while enveloped in vampire magic. If Kazador draws power from all the spawns bound this way three times, he will ascend. Okay. Right, so I'm going to uh, use my sneak attack for 20, 22 to 44. Does 19. It's not very much, but that'll have to do. Gonna fire a follow up shot. 94% chance with advantage. Nice. I guess he's got some resistances. He does. They are actually quite tough. They're resistant to everything. Uh, and then I'm gonna fire one more shot at my. Uh, what's it there? Uh, and then that's the end of my turn. My dreadful ambush. Mm -hmm. Ending uh, turn. I'm hoping these were will stay near me so I can knock them off the edge. This could end up being quite a difficult fight. He's farted on you, you're mm. nauseous. Yeah. I've got a dog on my lap. That's not mm -hmm. nauseous. Aww. Saved it, I'm lump, not smelling. Uh, lump, however, has uh, he's used to smelling. So yes. He's, he's nothing yes, yes. On, it's just a standard Tuesday for him. Yep. Oh no, bats don't block me of my... <laughs> lump, your fire resistant, right? Uh, yes, highly. By all means, please. Uh, I'm going to actually not repost. I've already got... Ah, oh, fuck it. Oh, well done. There you go. Uh, well, you just slaughtered a, a one HP bat I with did. a superiority dice. I did. <laughs> yeah, sorry, so few. You, you are uh, yeah, target, target priority. Uh, yeah. yeah. Target okay. environment. Wait, so, Lump I Beef Broth. my action. Yeah, you're nauseous. Lump Beef Broth swings the glaive at Predator Werewolf. Knocking it oh, to its death. Oh, fucking hell, dude. Then Lump <laughs> That's Beef a Broth long way down. is going to misty step past all of these motherfuckers to this werewolf, where I'm going to use another pushing attack to knock this werewolf. Oh, save. Good try. Could do it again, though, for another dime. You know what? I probably will. One more dime. Ah, I failed. Did a lot of damage to him, though. I did. Okay, I will use my action surge. Just go all out. Going to get this kill. Oh, no! Again, which gives me an extra attack. Now I'm going to use a a lacerate. Might be a good idea against the lady hanging. Ninety-four percent with advantage. I use lacerate, which I think puts a bleed. Oh, maybe not. Never mind. That was disappointing. Hmm. Uh, and then I'm going to. There's nothing I can do. That was my extra attack, wasn't it? Uh, yeah. Okay, that's all I can do, gentlemen. Sorry. Okay. I will, however, because I can run past them apart from the bats, stand next to Q. Yeah, I'll take a couple of attacks, but they won't hit me because of my armor. Okay, I'm going to stand next to Q for the sake of the Sentinel. If someone hits him, I'll hit them. Enter. I appreciate it. I've noticed there's some very faded runes in front, e in front of yeah. each of the... Perhaps where that's where your man has to stand yeah. in order to... Yeah. I'm... A bit fucked. Uh, I might use my. Yeah, I might use a uh, quick spell flinger. Just, just gonna yeah. run for a wee week. Just good. to go fuck you to the hunter and the two bats with Neldritch Blast. Yeah, yeah that's me cleared my space. I'm gonna move and in turn. No, 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 you missed, you big furry walking carpet. They come. Comes over to you. That's a 
Oh, it's a mage. Uh, shit. Counterspell. That's my last counterspell. Apparently, I counterspelled it and it still got me. That's bullshit. Can someone right. help me? <laughs> uh, I'll try. Uh, yeah, you're sleeping for a long time. Uh, what could I do? Attack him, break his concentration. Uh, yeah, no, 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 let's yeah. not have Q attack. Q, yeah, Because yeah. you'll fucking kill me. No, yeah. not you, but Q attack the bone um, thing. Bone thing. And he, it, dig me uh, sleeping, the... it won't break it. He's just yeah, sleeping. Yeah, well, he's... No, no, um, he's concentrating on the spell. He's concentrating on eye bite. He's not concentrating yeah. on holding me asleep. Ooh, I'm back. Ooh. Well... I need okay. to be helped. Might do actually. Yeah, it's weird. It's weird because when I mouse over Digby, it doesn't say it's a concentration. Spell. Yeah, sorry. Just says... He can recast I bite. That's that's what he's concentrating on. The okay. To recast it. I wonder if I can just throw something at you, like, and it will do one damage. I got Clive that... the Rock. Yeah, yeah do you want to help? You yeah. Might... yeah. Can I trust? In Take... fact, yeah. No, I've got. To, I've got to get him up this turn, otherwise There's he's not going to get his turn. I'm going to get absolutely yeeted into space we... by that hunter. With great care, I I bequeath Clive the Rock to you. Okay. Is that I've it? Got, What's that? I've got I've got Clive's rich bitch cousin. I'm gonna throw <laughs> a diamond, diamond at you. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh rubbish! Uh, uh, it's a thirty-six percent chat. Can I? I'm gonna run back and get that. Diamond. Clive gonna, wouldn't have missed. Yeah, that's it. Right. Um. Well, in that case, then I've got. I might as well just. Oh, can I throw? Can I throw something else? Throw Why can't? Five. Throw a mushroom at you? Throw Clive. You what action. do you mean throw Clive? I gave you Clive, oh, he's in your inventory. Don't fucking, I'll fucking... throw a bulb of garlic at him. It's not going to work, you've got to throw Clive. <laughs> Told you, you throw stay. Clive. <laughs> can, you, can you just come over and help me? <laughs> yeah, I guess Hang I'm on, we're, have we're to, working right? because, because otherwise problem, these Digby. werewolves are going to pull me apart <laughs> in my sleep. Okay, um... Can I actually help you with a bonus action? <laughs> uh, no. Oh, can't actually really help you with a bonus action. Hang on, no, wait, I've got disengage, I've got dash, I've got hide. Uh, I'm going to have to shank you. With my, with <laughs> All right. Uh, oh my god! Oh! <laughs> That's fine! That's oh fine! God, that I, fine. I'm, 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 I forgive you! <laughs> of all the fine. times to get a critical hit! It's because I was prone on the ground. <laughs> Sorry, you could You could have switched to non-lethal damage <laughs> first, but I you know. Just, it's fine. Look, it's okay. <clears throat> All the, good. The blades but, were sterilized. It's almost as if I've got a ridiculously high amount of HP for this yeah. precise reason. You carry on. This <laughs> <thing>. <laughs> uh, right. Okay. Uh, I, I guess I'll end my turn. Good luck, mate. Right. Okay. I'm going to immediately going to fuck off these two werewolves from in front of me. Up casting to level two thunder wave. Go away. There you nice. go. Nice one. Uh, and then I am going to. Ah. If I flourish, I'm flourishing against you. So instead, we shall offhand shoot the Fallen Gur Hunter for five, and then run over here mm -hmm. and end turn. Don't you do it. Nothing works. Cheers, nice. He's going to fart, is he? No, I've only got right. level one and level two spell slots left now, Ouch. lad, so I might end up as a melee fire. Little bastards, I'm gonna save my dice rather than use it on a bat. Ow. I'm getting. Oh, that's not good. I'm getting. That's around paralysis. Oh, he's paralyzed. Okay. Yeah. Um, right. It might be an idea then. Either You've gone very quiet so far. I... Sorry, is this better? Oh, oh Jesus, god, that's uh... much worse. <laughs> yeah, I love it. Nah, this should be better. Jesus. Um, Right, uh, actually, now that you mention it, <laughs> there, there is... Oh god, did I use the word fireball? Then are you going to say big, anything on fire? There is its bigger brother. Oh god. Yeah, I'm, I'm oh. super resistant to fire, Whoa. so I don't want to... I'm not, however, so if it's, you know, if you're going to get me in the fire yeah. in the... Wall of fire. Thank you, Pooh. Wall of the God. Wow, wow that's that's it. That lump is on 33 health. I'm sure I'll have time to heal. I will. I will right, mask your uh, wounds if I need. Oh no, I can't. I haven't got a level five spell slot. I'll healing word you if I need. Thank to. Cancel that out, just so you don't have to 
deal with Take damage in that there. every Thank turn. You. Um, and then I'm gonna fly over here. Over here. Uh, over maybe there. stand near me over for here. the sake of the sentinel. Uh, it's up to you. Okay, as close as I can get. Uh -huh. Turn. Oh dear. Oh dear. Good dog. Good dog. Oh. Calm. Good dog. Good dog. Good dog. Nice. He's not a good dog. Oh no. <laughs> good luck down there, Q. Thank you. <laughs> if you um... uh, dis. Oh god. Never mind. I was going to say, if you dis disengage. No! Piss <laughs> off! Back line. Oh no. Yeah. Oh. Your concentration, fuck. He's down again. Right, so Chatter Teeth has got to be the, like a priority target here. Okay. Oh. I'm running more bats. Ooh, this is right. Nice. Help me. <laughs> okay, right. Uh, uh, do you want another knife in the ribs? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Okay. That might it's fine, he's got two I kidneys. Need. Oh, God. Um, Thank you again, Poo Stripe. Thank you sincerely. I'm a little bit. I, 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 yeah, I've got, I've got my own problems, I think. I think it's probably better that I just deal with Chatter Teeth. Because <clears throat> waking you up is being really inconsistent. Uh, right, uh, let's see. I actually have some holy water. What does that? What was the interaction with holy water against it? Uh, he heals twenty HP every time he starts his go, unless he's in sunlight, has taken radiant damage or damage from holy water. But I do actually have some holy water, so should I just chuck that at him? Yeah, throw that yeah. at him. Got a disadvantage because I'm. I got this guy at my ass. You, you've got a lot of guys feet. next to you. So. Yeah, I can Misty Step out. That's what I'm going to do, I think. I'll Misty Step over to here. That'll have to do, just just for the sake of debuffing the boss. And then throw... Holy Water... At, I guess, you two? You there. Hmm. He saved the Holy Water debuff. That's unlucky. Okay, then still, I've only got... Yeah. You still dealt the damage to him, though, so um, yeah. you shouldn't be able to heal. Right. Uh, do I have advantage against anyone? I do not at this moment in time, so it's just going to be a normal attack, then. Ay, 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 ay. 85% chance we're just going to hit him. That'll do. Mm. That's decent damage on him. Yeah, nice. Take that. Sorry, Digby. I wish I. Uh, yeah, it just just tricky to try. Don't and get worry. You up. I'll, I'll just get wailed yeah. on on the floor and take a thousand crit hits. It's all good. I got health. No. Sorry, that sounded sarcastic. I genuinely didn't mean it to sound that way. Oh. I'm yeah. fine. I've got over 180 HP. I'll be all right. Oh. Yeah, especially if they target nice. prior other people. I'm going yes. to drink so, a so lumpy uh, broth. I still appreciate being picked up at some point. Yeah, Lump you can sp lumpy broth cool. drinks a potion of superior healing. Then Lump Beef Broth will... Uh, uh, sorry, Quebec, would you mind giving me back Clive, please? Um, I, I don't have him. If, if, no, give but, me back Clive! Oh, not Buster, I'm with you. Yes, please. Uh, send to uh, Lump Beef Broth, there okay, you go. I will I've also, hang on, did you, you drank a potion, didn't you? Uh, yes, um, healing potion. I, also, I do have a potion of the Colossus you can drink. Oh, sweet, that'd be lovely, thank you. But it's only going to be for this fight, because we're probably going to long rest after this. Yeah. Up to you. Uh, do you want to just drink it? I mean, I have it, you might as well just drink it. Sure, thank you. So it's in your inventory now. Um, when you get, obviously, you've already drank your potion this turn, but next turn you can make yourself have advantage yes. on strength checks. Um, so, Dirge, sorry, before I continue my turn, you see this werewolf that I'm wiggling my. Well, this one in front of me here. Predator yeah, werewolf. Predator. Is there anything you can do to knock him back so that I can throw the nutbuster at Gareth to try and wake him up? Eldritch Blast, uh, do it. Yeah, He's yeah Eldritch Physically Blast blocking the way. Yeah, 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 all right. Let me Eldritch Blast. I'll do two on the werewolf, one on one of the ghouls, and try and make some spit. Thank there you. There we go. Okay, so now Lump Beef Broth reaches over to try and throw a small rock at... Okay, you're highlighted, so here we go. So this should do a little bit of damage and wake you up. So Clive... Oh, I missed! You missed. I missed oh, too! Oh, it's not so easy! Shut the fuck you up! Might, you might <laughs> have to just use the health action, lads. Yeah. It's free! We can, can we? 
You can. Yeah. You can run up to me and help me up. It's not even on my taskbar. You have to be close to me to do it. I see. Okay, so I'll take a. Uh, yeah, I should avoid the attack of opportunity. Here I go. I step forward. Oh no, I got paralyzed. Damn it. Oh. <laughs> Never mind. Well. Okay, Gareth, your turn. Get what are you fuck. doing? Yeah, so well, far, I'm fucking asleep, so I'm <laughs> yeah, not doing anything. So far, a knife to the ribs has been the yeah, only. The only, worry, the only remedial for a sweep, up. yeah. For sweep, ah. sweepy sleep. Thank you, Zyphas. Thank you very much, Zyphas. He's gonna go off to someone else in a minute. Uh, yeah, there we go. Shui. Okay, it's all right. I've dodged it. Can I give him a kiss? Oh, I did. I managed nice. to charm him. That means he's gonna focus on someone else but That's you. That's fine. Clack. He's clacked at me. Yeah. Well, his name is Clackerteeth. Chatter teeth, even. Chatter teeth, like a teeth. This is really annoying. This so these bats are like designed to nothing more than to just put your rangers in disadvantage. That makes that's, sense. That's just what they are. Yeah. Get back, you dillweed. No. He didn't hit too hard, to be fair. Misty escape. Yeah, right. Saved. Could someone I please had, help me I'm up? Trying to. I'm going to take a load of opportunity attacks, but I should avoid them all because. Yeah. Uh, okay. What I'm going to do, this is going to be tricky actually. I'm going to have to like. Did you do opportunity attacks? Provokes an attack of opportunity from this bat. Okay. Right. What I'm going to have to do is this then. Uh, come over to my custom page. Use a cunning action and dash with a cunning action. That gives me three turns of momentum. Then what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to try and run around the vampire so that I can come through this fart cloud without getting debuffed by it. Run over to you, get over my primary action, and then this target can't be helped. What what gets rid yeah, of the sleeping? Push him, push him, push him, push him. Uh, yeah, push me. Push me, uh, like boot me. Kick me in the, kick me it, in the says, it says It says removed by taking damage or getting helped, but you know, I can't. it says helping doesn't allow me to. Just hmm. kick me in the fucking push ribs him. then. Okay. Don't push me off the Critical edge. Critical hit flies off the edge. It's just you <laughs> right. Off it's, the edge. it's gonna, it's gonna, it's gonna suck, oh, hold on. dude. No, no, don't push me because I have boots on. That means I can't be moved against my will. So just stab me. <laughs> oh God! Oh God! Thank oh, you very much. God. <laughs> I'm gonna take critical damage every time you do that because I'm yeah. prone. Okay. So where's that right. fucking mage? Where uh, is he's he? over there, chatter teeth. Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna help you try and kill him if I can. Um, let's see here. Is he weak to anything? Uh, he's weak to bludgeoning, but that doesn't help me because uh, I don't have bludgeoning arrows. Uh, do I have any uh, arrows of undead slaying still? I've got beast slaying. I've got humanoid slaying. Uh, arrow of undead slaying. And just a triple check, he classifies as undead. He is okay. Fire one arrow of undead slaying, uh, which I can't actually. It won't let me shoot it because this is my oh god, because this is my bonus attack. Okay, fine. Next turn I'll have to try. That'll do. Gatta. Ending turn. Offhand. We'll get him. We'll get him, Digby. Mm -hmm. We'll get him dead. I'm gonna fucking inconvenience you, you prick, by standing yeah. in your face. <laughs> yeah, that's it. That's a really Brilliant. good idea, Brilliant. actually. Right. I'm getting bundled. Oh god, 24 health left. Miss. Hopefully my armor holds. <laughs> nice one. You missed. Okay, is it my turn or am I still oh paralyzed? Uh, you you're appear yeah. to be still paralyzed. paralyzed. Yeah. So, um, are you social? What are you doing? Where's Kazador? Uh, Digby. Um, hmm. Don't you even think hmm. about it, because hmm. I know I'm on... Okay, we put it this hmm. way, I'm below 100 health, I'm vulnerable hmm. now. <laughs> Dirge. You know how uh, I right. kind of not mentioned the fact that you're a horrific multi-murderer, and I've kind <laughs> of been cool with that. Narrate what hmm. you're doing. What are you doing? No, uh, right, okay. I've got a couple of interesting scrolls, but I don't think they'll be useful here because they're more necrotic-based. Um, 
Oh, I could go after Kazador with a heavy radiant spell, but Gareth is in the way. And um, how do you feel about a spell that does between 10 and 60 points of damage? I will be very angry with you from now until the end of time. Mm -hmm. Uh, okay. Well, I can... Yeah, that might, that might not be a bad idea, actually. I'll do a Radiant and Fire spell, but not capture the ghoul that's going after Gareth. I'll just keep everything on the edge. Um, that should stop our vampire from healing as well. Right, okay, here we go. Flame Strike level 5. Good luck. Uh, there we go. Oh god. I would love a cutting word. Uh, nice. That'll cool. do. Right. Well, you that killed the mate. Yeah, yeah, okay. So the, the CC guy's gone. Nice. Well done. All right, now I'm going to turn so that I'm no longer there. And, uh, uh, yeah, 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 you can deal with the... Uh, dog, good, dog, good, dog, good, dog. Yeah, Dog, go. good. Well done. That's nice, because he moves away. It doesn't it disadvantage me anymore. Yeah, he's looking for me, but I'm already, like, away, so... Oh, God, oh, I'm in real dude. trouble. Yeah, oh, I'm down. Oh, down. Oh, you're dying. Oh, fuck. Uh, right, I'll use a healing words on you. Don't you worry, I'll help. Thank you. If I don't get overwhelmed by bats... I was going to say, you're just tempting for an EOE Ow. there. Uh, Aha! Ah. Uh -huh. Now they're coming for us. Oh god! Enough, wretches! Interesting, oh god! Oh, get away from me, don't touch me! Oh, you, oh. okay, I'm, I'm, I got lucky there. Right. right. It's not much, Mr. Beef Broth, but Thank you're you, alive sir. again! <laughs> Thank uh, you. Potion of superior healing, throw. Beef That'd be appreciated. Broth. Thank you. And then I'll use the giant's potion. Oh, it's. Oh, uh oh. What potion. happened? It didn't potion hit of you. Superior healing blood. What does that I've, mean? I've no, I've never seen that before. You've you've imbued the blood at its feet with superior healing. I don't know. I, yeah. I don't know what well, that means. Yep. Okay. Okay. Cool. Thank you. Thank uh, you. Anyway. You, you're very welcome. Uh, right. Uh, let's. Oh, yes. Anything else I can do? Wizard's Bane. Can't put any other spells. Just looking for potions. Uh, the Wizard's Bane thing might actually be okay. Coat your uh, weapon in an oil. The target receives minus three uh, penalty to spell attack roll, spell DC save, and disadvantage on saving throws. For concentration, Do you know, what? I'm going to put Wizard's Bane on my uh, what's it, and then I'm going to try and shoot at the guy next to me. Although yeah, he's in a bit of an annoying spot, I'm going to try and move slightly, and then yeah, 85% chance to hit him, which I managed to crit him. Nice. Can't hit him again. Uh, the only thing I can do for you, Lump, is try and get in next to you mm -hmm. in the hope. That some of them attack me and you get free sentinels. Cheers. They're probably going to bundle me, though. Yeah, I'll do my best to just try and just be an, an extra target nearby. Maybe they'll consider it. Ending turn. Thank you, anyway. And for my next trick, I shall make these ads disappear! Nice. nice. Oh, yeah, so he's anyway. he's got wizard... <laughs> So he's got Wizard's Bane on him now, which means he's got a minus three penalty to spell attack rolls. So he's gonna his spells are less likely to land. He's also also only got forty health. So he's getting close cool. to getting killed. Assuming he doesn't run to one of the sacrifices. Yeah. Damn it, they got ah, me. Ah, damn it. Sorry, dudes. No worries, thank you anyway. Okay. Um So we've got has a door left. Mm -hmm. That was Spain's just giving them disadvantages. Okay. So he is non immune to any. Oh, is he? No, he, he is. Thank you, Vuis. But Thank you very much, Vuis. I can do. I wish there was something I could do that was more compounded, but. 
could just hit <laughs> Castor with a bunch of Eldritches and then Q could kill him next turn. Yeah, potentially. Or I could help Soviet get out of the. Um... Well, how could you help Soviet? Let's, no. let's consider kill, that. Kill Kazador. Kill Kazador, right. Take Kazador. Off the table. Welcome, welcome to Eldritch Blast. You left me alive too long. Done. Four health. Four health. Yes, four health. You motherfucker. He's gonna get his turn, unless you can do something. Uh. Have a look and see what I can do. Problem is, there's not much you can do with a bonus action. Throw something? Um, is that a bonus action? Uh, is it? Sorry, I can't remember. I mean, we could no. focus on the ads that are going to kill Soviet. Because if they attack him, Soviet's Pro, already dead. Too yeah, but it's two automatic death saves if they attack him while he's prone. So we need to whittle yeah. down the ads around him so they don't just outright kill Lump. Because, frankly, I don't want to spend the scroll on him. Oh, Charlie. Now, let's, let's keep him alive. Um, and I will, th I will then vicious mockery the vampire to death. Hey, he's hoping. Nice job. Oh, good one with the shield, bro. Oh. Yep, Charm is going for me now. Failed the save. He got a hit through. It might be an idea rather than charming him, because if you charm him, he's going to go for the nearest target that's not you. True. So you want to keep the aggro here. I'm going to try my best. Is he, he's he's coming for me. Right. I could just try and nuke him down. Yeah, I would. What do we think? Yeah. Nuke yeah. him. Take him out. Right. 80% chance to hit. Oh, what do you do? I'm going to hit one more time. <gasps> I've oh. missed it. Gareth, yeah, that's going to have to be I got you. It. I got it, I got it. I'm going to try and take the attack of opportunity from the thing. And then we go... I've got one. Vicious Mr. Mockery. Vampire. Mr. Vampire. You suck. Unfortunately, we uh, have to say that uh, Asterion will not be playing the part of Asterion tonight. Instead, you will have the understudy. Me. Even Helen. Oh. Even <laughs> Everyone's a critic. <laughs> That'll do. That'll do. <laughs> oh. Oh, he's, huh? he's in, the in the sarcophagus. Is he, is yeah. he going to reanimate? Oh. Maybe. We might have to kill the ads really right. quickly. Oh, no. Okay, yeah. that could yeah, be yeah, it. Yeah. This is this is where we focus them. I'm going to have to just, just dance my way in between these guys. Okay, I have uh, another healing word, but after... After that, I'm down to one uh, twelve yeah. slot. Ooh. Okay. Um, death save. Right. I... I'm trying to think of the best way. No, I've got a ton of spell scrolls. There's got to be something interesting in oh, there. Shit, scrolls. Though. I forgot I had a load of scrolls as well. <laughs> yeah, I've got scrolls, but... Yeah, Wall of Stone, uh, Wall of Ice. Hmm. Wall of Ice does up to 120 damage when it breaks. I could kill quite a lot with that. Um, oh, was Irresistible Dance, Hold Monster got a scroll of dethrone which is necrotic and it's a single single I am um cloud kill oh that's a very big area crowd kill cloud kills massive and you will kill the other two members of our party That's death fog, Ooh. isn't it? Yeah. Uh, uh, right, tell you what, I'm gonna haste myself and I'll Elch Blast. Right, Soviet needs a bit of a hand. Um, we'll 
get rid of one of um hmm. tell you what do one on the wolf one on the hunter and another on the hunter oh, there wow. we go we right leveled? yeah sorry i pushed one off the the edge nice uh push one yeah push one off the edge right and turn Looking for you. He's looking. Yep. But I already moved, so he can go fuck himself. <laughs> Wait. That was what, an interesting roundabout route. Get off. Oh. Don't charm me. Yeah, you need leave to get aggro. <laughs> get off me. Oh. oh god, the bats are spawning. Okay. Interesting. You missed. Get off. Right, okay, Mr. Lump Beef Broth. Hello. I'm going to use an overcharged cure wounds on you Thanks. to try and get you some health and stand you up. It's not much, but it will have to do. You're back in the fight for the moment. Thank you. I then only have a freehand attack, which I'm going to spend on the Predator Wolf and try and knock him off balance with, them, with my knife. Um, he's immune to bludgeoning damage, but I got the off-balance. Off-balance means he has a disadvantage on strength checks. Uh, and that is basically it. I've got nothing else that I can do this turn other than to wait next to Lump and continue to try and draw the aggro. In fact, I'm going to try and do one better. Right, I'm going to move behind the werewolf like this. I'm going to take two attacks from the bats. I'm going to leave them. The reason I'm going to do that is because if he tries to move from me to you, I should get a stab in his back of opportunity. Cool. So I'm going to end here, I think. Right, okay. Uh, at the risk of repeating myself for my next trick, I'm going to make these ads disappear. Nice. Well done. Nice. Thunder wave. And then we shall flourish! Ha <laughs> ha! Right. off balance. That's better than nothing. Uh, and I am going to be fighting as a melee fighter for the rest of this combat. I have one spell slot remaining. This is taxing, this fight. It's a long one. <laughs> oh! Ouch. Have a shield blow, you bastard. Have some... Ah, oh, fuck you. Little help, please, gentlemen. Okay. I have a decent AC, but I'm going to get overwhelmed Lump quite fast. Lump Beef Roth is here. I don't have my main attack. I only have a bonus, which should potion. be enough to drink a potion. Uh, got... Do you need a superior? I've yes, got one. please. I've got a greater uh, healing one only. Lump, there you go. Your bag, superior's you. there. So I drink a potion of superior, and that might be, unless I can do anything else, that might be all I can do. Yeah. Just maybe move next to Gareth for sentinel hits. Uh, not near you, you sure? No, I'll be okay. There's only one person near me. Okay. Uh, go and give Gareth a hand. So, running here, I'll take the... Wait, how did I heal there? Uh, you ran through, I think, that special blood. You ran blood. through the oh. blood. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it, it must have just absorbed it. That's fine. That works. Cool, thank you. <laughs> right, uh, so, um, yeah. Stay near me, me, stay near me, Gareth, and I'll sentinel. I will do. Thank right, you. Dirge. Yeah, so... Thanks, Q. No worries. Having a bit of an interesting one here. I'm not entirely sure what to do. Um, I might do a concentrated blast just now on one of the ghouls. That'll heal me a bit, I think. Nope. Made me lethargic. Sentinel oh, well. triggered. Engaging. Nice job, mate. Well done. 13 hits off balance. Oh shit. Yeah, I am going to charm him just in yeah, case he tries to push can, me. You yeah. can charm now. Because you no longer need to keep the aggro. Okay. You'd send him away. Here come the bats. Yeah, I'll just have to, we'll just have to deal with them. We mustn't forget about the sacrifices. Yeah, I'm trying to work on it as best I can. So I actually have advantage against this guy. I guess because he's off balance. Uh, I'm gonna move away from him like so. The bats will attack me. Unfortunately, I do take a hit from one, and the other one misses. That's fine. Gonna use a tier one uh, spell slot and my bonus action to now mark up Leon once again for one bonus d6 worth of damage. I'm then going to attempt to shoot him if I can to kill him. 
94% chance of advantage. Shoot him in the dick. And then I'm going to fire... Can I do this one? Can only be used once per turn. Can't use that. I'm going to try and fire one more time into him. 94% chance with advantage. Nice. I kill him. One of them is down. Cool. Nice. Okay. Well done. Uh, that is going to have to be my turn for the moment. I'm going to withdraw my swords in case something tries to move past me to attack. I'm going to hold my ground here. Ending turn. And for my next trick, I shall make these ads disappear. Or not, nice. because they say <laughs> my... They've finally gotten wise to my Thunderwave-based yep. bullshit. Uh, so instead, I am now out of spell slots entirely, gentlemen. I am but the bard you've all come to know and okay. love who has to use his words. So we're back to back with weapons now. Yeah, so I'm going to offhand shoot this one. Nice. Enter. <laughs> Miss me. Oh. Shit. Dead? Dead? Sorry, I was filling my drink. Uh, <laughs> shield blow. Nice! nice. Okay, uh, shall I focus on these ads around Dig B? I think I probably should. Go for it. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to... One second. Which one has the higher health? This one here. Okay, I'm going to use a trip attack for my last superiority die on this guy. 95%... Ah, oh, damn it, he saved the trip. Okay, never mind. I'm then going to follow up. Hang on, 95%. If I switch on my Great Weapon Master all, it's 80%. I'm just going to do a regular attack in the hopes that I can kill him. And then, damn it, almost got a bonus turn. I'll do another attack. Okay, nice one. Kill, sir. Now I've got a bonus attack. Great Weapon Master bonus. I swing in for 75% against this guy. Doing lots more damage. And then that's all I can do, I'm afraid. So ending turn next to uh, Digby. Okay, so this is kind of interesting. I think I might leave the hunter that's on the ground. Leave I'm the guy gonna... next to us, because I can, I can stab. I've got a weapon that's good against undead, and now I've got an excuse to use it. You may as well finish the guy uh, on the ground. Motherfucker. Yeah, the most no. Health. Don't, don't matter now. Fucking lost my action. I'm going to move. Not enough movement speed. You fucking what? Oh, you're nauseous. Yeah. Hmm. That's why. Yeah, uh, fucking moved through one of their ass clouds. Yeah. Uh, it's my turn. Get off. I'm not going to bother charming. I'm going to try and charm one of the other ones. Get off. Go away. Right. Okay. What are my options here and now then? I guess I'm going to keep trying to work the effigies at yeah, the side. Good idea, yeah. Um, the problem is there's absolutely I, tons of stink I, everywhere. I, I'm not I, convinced I, we need to kill them. Why? What? I'm not convinced that we need to kill them. They're, they're, they're literally called sacrificial lambs. Like, uh, yeah, I think we, we just need we to clear the, the, the ads. ads up. Yeah. But they're marked in red. But yeah, I but suppose that, they're not on the turn order. They, they are temporarily hostile if you hover May, over them. Maybe that's the trap. Maybe we kill them and he goes, Aha, you've triggered phase two. Yes. So I say we leave them alive and clear the ads up. And if they're still hostile, then we'll clear them up. Okay. Not like they're doing any damage to us. Yeah. Either. And he's not, like, the sarcophagus isn't, isn't regenerating or anything. Right. There's no health bar on oh, it. Do, yeah, do you. Do I know what you want to do. Well, so yeah. I'm trying, I'm trying yeah. to push them off. Right. Uh, shunting through them using one of my uh, tadpole attacks called Force Tunnel. Uh, charge forward, pushing all objects and creatures in your path four meters away from you. I'm going to see if I can push him off the edge. Charging. Ooh, there nice. we go. <laughs> nice, well done. Nice. Kill. That was cool. Nice one. Uh, then I've uh, just got an offhand attack. There's not really much I can do with it, except maybe try and get into the fray. But to be honest, I'm, I'm going to hold position and wait, because there's so much fart gas down there. I just don't want to get involved. Yeah. So. Yeah. Uh, what I'm going to do, uh, I've got tier 1 slots, nothing I can really do with it, but I'm just going to just gonna wait. Uh, I might reapply a Hunter's Mark to that chap who's pro, just so I can assist in doing damage to him next turn. Ending. Piercing strike! Nice. That's gaping wounds. And uh, have a crossbow bolt. Nice. Ah. Nice. Right, job done. Uh, I am a melee class now because I have no spell slots remaining, so I'm going to run at this bat like a lunatic. Ah! <laughs> He's getting up. 
Oh, oh paralysis. Oh, paralysis, not good. Okay, what should I do? Kill help, it. Help Dutch. <laughs> okay. Yeah, kill it and help Dutch. Right, uh, so movement points, the fart cloud is causing problems. I will use my bonus action to jump, which I will. Okay. Oh, wait a minute, because I'm nauseous, I don't have an action? Is that the case? Yeah. Oh. Okay, Welcome never mind. to my world. Nothing I could have done then, so I'll just end my turn next to you. That was rubbish. Alright. Ah oh dear. Tell you this morning. How, how this, dare you, bat. This morning, gentlemen, I ordered a, a delivery of fish, but they arrived. It said the order time was between seven in the morning and two in the afternoon. They arrived at ten minutes past seven. Christ. So I, I, I was sort of shaken out of bed, and I was really sort of in that deep bit of sleep. You know, we're mm. having a really big oh, dream. Yeah. And so I was sort of like shunted out of bed, and I, I felt exhausted, like I hadn't gotten any sleep at all. Right. And I went to bed real late last night. Okay. Shattered. I'm going to shuffle past this bat, take the swipe. Uh, again, just for the sake of not being disadvantaged when I shoot. Uh, I can then fire a... Uh, I, I don't, do I have advantage? I don't think I have advantage against him, but it's going to let me. Uh, sneak attack for 22 plus 44 damage. Firing. You can I'm... sneak attack one of the allies within five foot. Oh, really? Uh, news to me. Uh, in that case, I'm going to use my secondary attack to shoot this bat. And then we have but one more bat, I think, in front of Mr. Digby. And, and I've stabbed is, it. It is dead. You try an Eldritch Blaster, Jesus Christ. He was trying to steal my kill <laughs> from out underneath me. Right. Wait, the right. bat's over. Up. The bat's it. Okay. Yeah, so in the sarcophagus, don't he's, he's level up here. He's the evil guy. Yeah. Let, let's level up quick. Uh, okay. Okay, hang on. I guess I'm putting another point in Rogue. This is max level, guys. Yeah, That's we've it. done it. You're at the end? Yeah. We're not allowed to go to level 20 Aww. because the spells get... Ridiculous. Yes. And, <laughs> and, like, they didn't give us Dispel Magic because of the size of the game it would become oh, nice. by the time they made yeah. the fucking rules for Dispelling Magic and the effects of it. Hmm. Which I get, don't get me wrong. But also, level 12 is a good point in to run a campaign. Like Curse of Strad, which is uh, one of the D&D &D campaigns. Level 12 is a good level for that. Hmm. Uh, well, where does that appear then? Evasion. It just says it's a passive feature. I guess that doesn't mean I can toggle it on or off. Yeah, go with this. Do I need to toggle that chat? Uh, chat, I'm going to go with tough, so I get uh, two hit points for each level that I've gained, so I get more health. I had it previously, and I liked it. No, always on. Okay, awesome. So I've just got... So uh, I'm, I'm a level 12. No fancy thing for me, because mm -hmm. I'm, like, multi-classed, uh -huh. uh, which means I've got six points in Ranger and eight points, or, like, I guess... Yeah, I think it's eight points. Um, in... Uh, in Rogue, sorry. I guess I'm six for six. No, five in range of seven in Rogue. Excuse me. We got there. Um, yeah, so uh, basically I, I, my, my thing is called um, Evasion. Okay. Uh, and it means that... So do you know like with, with like when a spell hits you, like, there's like a saving throw mm -hmm. where you only take half damage if you succeed the saving throw? Uh-huh. Um, basically, if I pass... A, so if I pass that saving throw... And then pass a dex throw, I will take no damage from it. Oh, okay. So, so it basically, if I dodge that, if, if I manage to pass the saving throw on the initial spell, and then pass a dex throw, I essentially dodge the magical hit that's coming for for me, which nice. might might up my survivability rather substantially. And that's just an always on passive hmm. for a level seven rogue. So it should hopefully again, because in that fight, I think I got quite lucky. I think I'm just slippery enough as a rogue and a ranger to kind of just stay out of harm's way because I was right in the middle with the rest of you then but I wasn't necessarily struggling too badly hmm. so yeah th using things so I've got uncanny dodge uh, um, when an attack hits you you only take half as much damage as well which is nice sorry to interrupt you have we saved 
Uh, I think we're waiting on that. Oh, yeah, sorry, I'm still trying to figure out. <laughs> I'm just going to go re take. retrieve my diamond. There we go. Now yeah. he's a very barky dog. Oh, yeah, what's Clive? Oh, no, no, no. Please give me Clive. No, don't hurt him. I've had him the whole adventure. Please give <laughs> no, me Clive. Don't, don't throw him off. Don't, the don't edge. get don't rid of him. Mean. Come back, come on. <laughs> come back. Come back. If he goes off the edge, you're going off the edge. <laughs> If he goes off the edge, you're going off the edge. <laughs> Make your choice. There, there, there you go. You're all right. Oh, no, thank you very much. <laughs> thank you, sir. Uh, don't scare me like that. Don't give it a five. Uh, it's, it's great because I can pickpocket. He's going to vanish out of your pocket at the end of yeah. the game. It's going to be great. Uh, right. Leveled up. Waiting on that. Yeah, so my uh, yep. all I did well, was well. just get more health. That's it. Nice. Right, I think. Uh, well, okay. Well, I guess we'll we'll finish up whatever this is. Then I think we're due a long rest. Yeah. yeah. Uh, knock yeah, we, knock. I, Who's I'm inside say, the sarcophagus? Can you talk we to it? We need a long rest because I've got no spell slots do you, remaining. Do you reckon he's <laughs> lying and they're going? Aha! They're going to kill the sacrifices. I've he, tricked them. He is reforming. Uh, yeah. Is my guess. Um, oh, we, we go, yeah, yeah, yeah. Clicked it. Here we've got a chisel. I've got a weapon that does radiant. No, really, so you can just open it. The fucker we you, can. you can literally just open it. You just, you're gonna Hello, fuck you the fucker. The Lord looks peaceful, recovering in his coffin. There is no trace of the fury that you fought against. Did you really not lock it? Um, is he an idiot? Oh my oh, this is really. <laughs> <laughs> kill him. Yeah, kill him. What is this? This is gonna be gruesome, isn't it? Yeah, Take the vampire. Yeah. Kill him. Just like, hmm. What are you waiting for? Stop looking over. <laughs> it's really creepy, dude. There we go. Oh, oh convenient. <laughs> With his own dagger. Don't look confused. We all know you're a mass murderer. <laughs> <Yeah. gasps> I'm so um, est. Ego. Chechidi. The Vampire Lord is no more, but his legacy remains. What to do with the thousands of vampire spawn he created? Where are they? What? Created where? Oh, oh so the, I see. Uh, when, when a vampire, so this is kind of wider law than just D&D. Uh, &D. When a vampire mm -hmm. partially drains another, okay. um, if that is done willingly, as if the target is a willing victim okay. they can create another vampire so the likelihood is is that eleven thousand souls that you owe me he's probably raising like rather than just like one and dunning people if you need to get eleven thousand souls why not raise an army of eleven thousand other vampires to help you get or like five thousand other vampires to help you gather the souls right okay so i imagine that the prisoners are also slightly vampiric and also we have one in our party, Asterion. He is a spawn of a vampire. He is a vampire created by another vampire. Okay. Yeah. I so think we one. use the staff to set the prisoners free. What, what does that mean? Heroes, damn it! I think I'd do that because I want the staff. So yeah, use the staff to set the prisoners free. Okay. Okay. Wait, what, does it, what does free mean? Kill them? No, I think oh, let them out. Oh. Oh, the, okay, so you can reverse, you can become human again? Or whatever they are? I don't know. Either that, or we've just descended Nothing a load of vampires remains. on the city. Cazador and his machinations are naught but dust. Machinations! Wait, hang on. Have we, have we just released a shit ton of vampires onto Baldur's Gate? Yeah, no, don't I worry think, about it. I think we've released them from their vampiric curse. At least that's how I read that. Because we could have also used the staff oh, yeah, to look. destroy them. Let's go talk to them. They're over here. Hang on. These sacrificial oh, yeah. lambs are out of there. I feel a bit bad for killing that other one. Yeah, now, sorry, Leon. Poor Leon. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, sorry, Leon. Can... Hang on. Speaking to this lady with the tits. He... He's destroyed. She's still a vampire. Casador. Gone. How were you able to do this? Look at us. We are no threat. Let us go. We'll vanish into the Undercity. You'll never see us again. I beg you. What? Well, are you still a vampire? Did anyone know? Yeah, well, I guess they are. They've got the red eyes. I can't let her... She's a parasite. I can't let her go. 
What do you, what do you think? I mean, they... they... My, my chat... So, again, retrospectively here, because we're obviously filling the gaps here, but uh, um, um, at least my chat is of the opinion that, yes, we just let 7,000 very hungry vampires oh, out on Baldur's Gate. Oh, fuck. <laughs> oh. Oh, shit. They were not heroes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, shit. They're, they're victims. Let them go. We don't know what we've done. But yeah, we, we, we thought we helped. Yeah. Oh, fuck. Yeah, you are victims. You may go. I, I think one. We're, we're, we're heroes. Oh, Except for fuck. Dirge. We're heroes. Fuck. <laughs> okay. And I can say that because you're canonically the main fucking villain. I swear it. <laughs> Oh, we've done goofed big time. We oh, should have destroyed we thought them all. We were helping. <laughs> so, <laughs> I have a sword called Rhapsody, which is a dagger like <laughs> finesse. <laughs> Scarlet Reminiscence gives you a plus one to attack rolls, damage, and spell save DC for every foe you slay, up to a maximum of three plus. Mm. And Sweet Bloodletting possibly inflict bleeding. When hitting creature with this weapon while hiding or invisible, it's a plus one. Q, that sounds yeah, like something up your street. Weapon. I'm firing that to you. And oh, then I've got okay. the Cesar family ring. So, same shit you have. Um, hmm. Yoink. Hey! Oh, bloody hell. Okay. <laughs> that was squelchy, what the fuck? Per Percy has developed a new game whereby he'll run to my door, squeak, and then yeah. the minute my chair goes back to get up, he'll run up the stairs, and he kind of sneaks up on me, squeaks, and then runs up the stairs. Um... Cool. Hmm. Okay, so on this stream, guys, I, I've kind of run out of time this evening, sorry. Yeah, yeah, that's fine, uh, yeah. On this stream, we uh, explored a vampire manor and then released a vampire army onto Baldur's Gate. Woo! Woo, go team! Yeah. Go us! Wouldn't it be fun if we went back up to, like, the, the, like, the over and it's just total chaos in yeah. the streets. Blood everywhere. Oh, shit. Well, I think whoopsie-daisy. <laughs> Uh, it's just, uh, uh, it's a big whoopsie there. The, Gortash has got the steel watch. It's yeah, fine. I'm sure they're, it's they'll, fine. They'll be yeah. okay. The big robots I mean, are going to go and crush all the vampires. It's not like they need every man for a giant attack from a huge yeah, force of... an army. Sort of, yeah, brainwashed. I, it's I, it's not going well for Baldur's Gate, is no. it? I mean, I mean, what did we do? We, <laughs> we've we killed, like... So what? We arrived here, yeah. Like, I, uh, and then we fucking I don't know what we've done. We, we've we started like... a fight with with a bunch of uh, caravan guards. Yeah, we uh, beat down. No, we got forced the guy to lose his home because of fireworks. Yeah, uh, we uh, our sins must be longer than this guy's. What have we done? Yeah, I, I think. Um, yeah, what, what else have we done? It's not good, is it? I think more of our sins Morally. are in the prior chapter, especially in the fucking Shadowlands. I, yeah. I have no sins. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm Gareth the Gate. I'm a hero. Right. I just want to come back to my... This is my city, right? I'm going to become yeah. a hero after this. I'm going to play every tavern uh, that comes my way. I'm just going to go back to my life of, of living like a celebrity, like I was prior to everything going wrong. See, I think you need to become a vampire hunter, frankly. This is going to be a big, big business. <laughs> yeah, right. I think so. Nice. So, yeah, so we've... Um... And head to camp. Ro oh no, I can't. Oh, yeah. the vampires of water deep. I guess we've done what to the sorry, we've done what to the vampires of water deep. We've rooted them out. Okay, got rid of them. Baldur's Gate, not kind water of. Deep yeah. in, in oh Ellen. fuck's sake! Why do you say water deep? Yeah, with... I'm, play I'm playing a campaign set in water deep. <laughs> You're literally so playing Baldur's we're... Gate. Listen, I know, but. I think it's Waterdeep because we're below oh, ground and it's the Undercity. Okay. There's anyway, a, there's well, thank a, you guys. A door over here. Are you up for more on Monday? Yeah, it should be. Um, am I going to. Oh, um, uh, 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 yes, I think so. Okay. I'll, I'll let you know close to the time. Might be in London again. But okay. I'll let you know. Well, I'm free on Tuesday um, if you wanted to adapt. Hmm. Yeah, okay. Digby, when, when you're in London, what time do you roughly get back at? How long's a piece of string? It depends entirely if the West Coast Main Line is running. Oh shit, man, chat. We don't oh. have time. Um, it's not significant, is it? Looks significant. Yeah. It's a very big. Those are Harpers. Why? 
What uh -oh. madness possessed uh -oh. We you? might, we might. Uh oh, of course. These were the people that had their kids eaten by. What the are they called? Vampires. Yeah, the vampire. Uh, they they literally are vampire hunters. Oh no. Probably three is the least sort of. Uh, uh, I mean, try to help. If you want to write the evil neutral or neutral evil, I mean, that's like, yeah, like your kids are technically free. I mean, they're, they're they just ran off into fucking the sewer. Undead vampires. However, reluctantly, I cannot fault your logic. You did everything that was asked of you, but you were given an impossible choice. Who's to say what path was right? Not mass murder. We will make it our duty to find the spawn that escaped into the Underdark, especially our children. I pray they can resist the urges of their new nature, but we shall see. The vampires. As for your pale companion, we will hunt him no longer, unless he gives us cause to. I mean, we didn't really give you a fuck, You have my but... people's thanks. There will be dark times ahead for us all, but we will stand with you as best we can. How is she not Until uh, then, furious? Go in peace. Um, no. We've just freed fucking an army of vampires. Uh, yeah, no, not really. I mean, well, free so is such they're a running strong loose word. in the underdark. I, I, I don't know whether or not. I think wasn't the, wasn't the job of. I think they were trying to save their children. I suppose yeah. if we'd have snapped the staff and killed them all, then they wouldn't have had an attempt to save their kids. But While they, but, we haven't exactly solved the problem for them, at least they have another shot at potentially saving their children that have fled to the Underdark, I suppose. So we've just kicked the can further down the road for them, but I don't I mean, think... To be fair, we, we've made the, the drow's problem now. Yeah. <laughs> we have to deal with like 10,000 yeah. fucking, fucking vampires. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, there we go. Yeah. If anything, we've struck um, a blow for the upper world. Right. Do people want to go to camp and just have a long rest so we're set up for I... the next session? There's going to be dialogue yeah, and yeah. shit when we rest, so just leave it yeah. till next week. Anyway, anyway thank we'll you guys. Long rest at the start of next. Oh, the stretch. <laughs> sure. Oh, <dear. laughs> Ooh. Ooh. right. Ooh. Okay. What, what was that fucking noise, Q? Uh, that was that was that was two oh, and a half man, hours yeah. of Baldur's Gate. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's just just in my joints. No, oh, thank you nice. guys. Thank you very much. Oh, uh, just random quick note. Uh, um, you, you, I can't attend um, Ron on Sunday. I'm, okay. Uh, doing uh, uh, Mother's Day. I'm, I'm, I'm away. Oh, yes. so. oh, good shout. Yes, same, actually. I'm doing, uh, I'm doing uh, uh, oh. the same for me. I presume um, I'll probably be back by then, but we'll see. Okay. But yeah, I'll uh, I'll see. But yeah, the, I, I definitely because I'm, I'm out of town. So um, I yeah. won't be. If you do manage to get a game together, then just, just go ahead. Uh, oh, but cool. someone someone else will need to grab the mod, which I can link in the chat. Cool. Otherwise, right, have a lovely night. Yeah, have a good one, guys. Ooh, Thank you yeah. for the game. And yeah, right, cheers. Sleep well. See you is, uh, is everybody carrying on? Or? No, it's no, to bed. I've, I've got to go because I've got to get on a train. Uh, it's beddy beddy buys then. Okay. All right. Sleep well, Wait, everyone. Should... Cheers, guys. How's what? work going? So it... uh, yes, going quite well. Trying to get the video done. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, anyway, I'm, catch, catch I'm looking man. forward to it. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Bye, bye. Bye, bye. Bye. Right. Thank you for watching, everyone, in the chat. Sorry for neglecting you during such a cooperative game. It's difficult to really respond to anything in the chat. But I hope you enjoyed the show. Thank you, Ark2 and uh, Schnee Nigolio and Vuiz and Zyphars. Thank you, all of you. So... On the YouTube side of things, I'm trying to finish the latest bullshittery video. Beneath the stream, in the first tile that talks about a sickness that I don't have, is a Google Sheet. On that Google Sheet is a, uh, what is it, there's a breakdown of exactly what I'm doing to get this bullshittery done. So basically, I'm bug fixing. Long story short, I'm bug fixing. Uh, so in the QA tab, I've got how many issues left? 40. Four zero issues left. So... Please bear with me. Give me a few more days to get through these issues and uh, years. Hopefully, I can get it done and out the door for you. So, please bear with me. The latest bullshittery is on its fifth week of work and is in the polishing phase. Right. As for right now, do forgive me. I'm going to go straight to bed because I woke up quite early and had a, had a very restless sleep. So, um, yeah, straight to bed, straight to sleep. So, thank you again. Have a wonderful evening. Please let me leave you in the company of... 
Who's doing what? Let's have a look. Uh, let me let me leave you in the company of... I haven't hosted up Yuki in a while. Let me leave you in the company of ZF Yuki. What's he doing? I can't recognise the game. It's some sort of shooter. Hang on. I'll let him explain. Thank you again, folks. Have a lovely, lovely evening.